The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host, Scotty Gurman, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me today, I have one excellent stand-up comedian and one very funny family member. First, he is the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph! <laughs> yeah, he's just so it's good. been a little while. It has. I've been here. Uh, it has. <laughs> remind me. Scotty? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, All that's right. good enough. And Fuck. also... <laughs> I was hoping it was somebody else by now. I can't believe we haven't found another fucking host. That's we had, right. I had a whole extra week to find somebody to fill in for you. And surprisingly and enough, couldn't find nothing. it. I, couldn't find it. I didn't look very hard. Darn. Uh, but also, he is the funniest member... I found member. a hobo behind a dumpster. <laughs> oh, did you? I should have asked him. You should have. Yeah. And also, he is the funniest member of my family. Yes, that's right, including me. He is none uh-huh. other than Clayton, but we call him Fred. Hey, hey. Glad to be back. Yeah, dude. COVID ridden and everything. Yeah. Yeah. It's like me yeah. and Derek refuse to do a show together anymore. Yeah, I know, right? Have you noticed you never see either one of us in the same place, same it's like, time anymore? It's like it's the same person. Right. Maybe. Did you eat him or something? Maybe. Boy, <laughs> if I did, I lost fucking weight. <laughs> Fuck. Wow, that's a fat joke. Uh, but anyways, guys, uh, welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. This is a uh, comedy podcast where we like to make uh, jokes, inappropriate jokes at that, uh, about the current events that are going on in sports and also inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, 90% of them are targeted towards me, and I'm just fine with it. Uh, but also, this is an adult podcast where you like to use foul language and make loud noises. So if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and goodbye. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff on the docket, as usual. The ick, real shit, horse shit, bad advice, Jeremy, overrated, underrated, questions for Guntas, and a draft, and as always, a shitty situation. But we're going to start out like we normally do, talking about our week. Uh, we're going to start out with a guest. He's not even really a guest. He's kind of like the the one that comes here when Derek's not here. But yeah, Fred? Yo! How you been, dude? Yeah, it, you know, I've been all right. Yeah, I'm just, I know. I'm, I've got a weekly spot here, so. Yeah, I know. Getting better. We're going to just start changing faces back here on this logo. We're just going to mm-hmm. put you just there. A magnet we can put up every once in a while. Yeah, and then like JP over here, and then Steve over there. See? Oh, dude, a show with Steven and Fred would be fucking hilarious. Yeah, it would. Let's <laughs> see if we can make that happen tonight. <laughs> oh, tonight. Let's get on the phone. Yeah, yeah on the it's quick. not too late to call Steve. I mean, I know we only got three chairs. Look, guys, I'm willing to bow out. Uh, you are actually, already. Actually, it is a little too late. He actually has some stand-up comedy that he's doing right now. I so. doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> he's making a couple people laugh. Mm-hmm. Leave him alone. That's about all we're doing. Yeah. So. But anyways, uh, we haven't seen you for a while. You had COVID yeah. again. Yeah, since uh, since last time I was on here. Again? I went, you've went had back a, to Disney. Uh, or actually, just Universal. This is the second times. time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and on the way back, I got it uh, my last day in Florida. So, came home and... Thank God it was the last day. Sure? Yeah, well, I did the at-home test and it tested positive. Oh, Okay. So, so that's when you test positive. You don't know for sure when you got it. No. Well, you didn't wear a condom the whole time. The whole there? time I didn't, so oh. I could have got it any any day that week. But You're just over there rod dogging Disney. It's, it's easier that way, man. Uh-huh. It's yeah. 106. And yeah, that's why this. it's the happiest place on earth. That's yeah. right. He's, that's right. He's behind, Full he, count. He's behind the fucking vending machine fucking goofy. Just Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um, right. I'm, uh, I'm curious if you had the same experience I had with going to Disney in July. Uh, did it suck? Is, does it still suck? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We we done decided we're never going to Florida in June or July again. No, yeah. so I, I mean, not there, only is your it, one tip. Not only is it hot and miserable as fuck. Uh, Disney intentionally does something to the drinking fountain water there. It makes, makes it, it smell it, like like sulfur. 
Yeah, make so sure. you have to buy their bottled water because they won't let you bring it yep. in. Yeah, and four seventy five uh, a bottle. Yeah, and then you spend three hours waiting in line for a fucking two minute ride. Yeah, and it is middle of the fucking tourist season. Yeah, and no fans, I never no met, wind. I never met the whole time we were there for a full week toward the end of July in two thousand ten. I want to say it was, and uh, I don't think we ever met two people in a row who spoke English. Really. And we never met two people in a row who spoke the same whatever fucking foreign language yep. wow. it was. And uh, other people in, from other countries don't all share the same uh, sense of courtesy Just that deodorant? we do. They like to uh, cut in line. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. What a you bunch can of pricks. walking, holding hands with your wife, and they will walk in between you. Uh-huh. Shit like that, like we're playing Red Rover. Yeah. Uh, that's... Uh, Maybe they just love that in their, in sure. their country. Well, we actually do have We know somebody that uh, can help you uh, plan a trip if you're going to go to Disney. Uh, true story. Uh, it's a true story. So uh, what's the uh, name on that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, yeah. Uh, Put me I'm, on the spot. I don't <laughs> fucking know. <laughs> I can look is it a uh, Disney agent? Uh, it, is, uh, it, is, yeah. it is. It is. It is my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. And oh. thanks for putting me on the spot. <laughs> Sorry. Do you not follow your own girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Darcy Destination Magic. There you go. There, there you go. That's why it's three yep. words. It's that's too much a, for me. That's a hell of a last name. Yeah. 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 Tell yeah. me about it. Yeah. But yeah, she will help plan your she trip. Picked and the she's perfect a perfect fucking the perfect career to get into. Absolutely. Right. Right. A last De- name like that. Yeah, definitely Magic. not a stripper. Definitely not. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> that you guys know of. <laughs> okay. Well, all right. Well, anyways. Anyways. Uh, yeah, had COVID. Luckily, this train wasn't bad. Uh, didn't lose my taste. Didn't lose my smell. It was a it was a rough flu with the fever for a day and a half, two days. Yeah. So warts on your dick. Uh, they were there anyway, so I, don't, I, don't, I didn't see any new ones. I mean, so it didn't cure that. Yeah, it didn't cure that no. one. They, they said it would, so I've been uh-huh. trying to get it on for a third liars. time. Yeah. And then just working in this damn heat, and this weekend we had a lot of family in town. Mm-hmm. Uh, on her side of the family, uh, they all came down from uh, Texas, Kansas. Missouri. Everywhere. Everywhere. So we hired a couple uh, craps dealers to come to our craps table so I could actually play instead of count teach everybody. Yeah. And, and we proceeded to have a pretty good, dang good time. Scotty came out. Elaine yeah. came out. Yeah. We threw dice for four hours, drank. Good old, good old Lee. He was fucking He hot. was on a roll. He was rolling dice for an hour straight. Jeremy, if we had taken this guy to the casino, we would have walked out with... Uh, we thousands would've, of would've dollars. Stayed there. No, 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 you wouldn't, because that won't ever happen in a casino. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> this is true. I it it's like the fucking slot machine apps on your fucking phone. <laughs> That'll never work out <laughs> like it burst. does <laughs> right. on your phone. Yeah. Um, but uh, the uh, culmination of of your week actually runs into a little bit of my week as yeah. well. Yes, yeah, so and go ahead. Take um, it so we did uh, the last time you were on the show, and apologize for the technical difficulties on that episode. But we talked about uh, our favorite arcade games. Correct. And um, we decided Sunday that it would be a really fucking cool idea to go to the local arcade. It's downtown, and it has all of these retro arcade games that you could play when you were a kid. Oh yeah. And I had a blast. We were there for only an hour and a half, uh, and I later found out. And the main reason why, and I was kind of complaining, I was just like, God damn, it's it's just so small. It's not as big as, like, you know, like Aladdin's Castle was when you mm-hmm. go to the mall. Like, games were, like, fucking spread out, and they're in, like, little clusters and I shit. I bet you if we were to go back in time, it wouldn't be near as big. You're probably right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I, I'm finding out, like... Uh, we actually know the guy. I actually know who the guy is. And I am finding out that they are hopefully going to end up moving from their current location because they only have, I think he said somewhere along the lines of a quarter of the games out on oh, the wow. floor. Are you going to sell them your yeah, house? Yeah, I might. I you were might. putting that place up for sale. Fuck Have yeah. them turn this into the fucking I mean, place. You got multi-level. Yeah. Then you won't move. I got to, we got to play a lot of the classics, you know, the Mortal Kombat. I got to play my favorite, which was Tekken. I love I, that one. I love the idea that you consider that classics. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was made in the 80s. Not Frogger. Not, not Dig Duck. No. Oh, I tried Frogger. Mortal Kombat was, was uh, 92. 90s. 93. Okay. All right, I'll take it. But then they had like Tron, so that was there. They had yeah. the arcade worst game 
Ever. It was pretty bad. I tried <laughs> it was hard as fuck. It was hard as fuck. The original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was there. I've re- it was harder than I remember did, it. Did you see they've come out with a PS5 game? Sure did. That is supposed to be in the same style as It that. is, and it, and it looks awesome. I think it's called Shredder's Revenge, if yeah, I remember correctly. Yeah, I believe correct. so, yeah. Um, but that was a really good time. Uh, had a lot of fun playing arcade games from my youth. It was awesome. Me and Fred ended up playing that one uh, shooter game yeah, by, from my, Aerosmith. Aerosmith game I mentioned. <laughs> Aerosmith yeah. game. Play, it wouldn't <laughs> shut off. It wouldn't stop. We just kept on killing people. Oh, 30 shooting. minutes. It was fucking crazy. It was pretty fun, though. Yeah, Did you fun. actually get to shoot the guys in Aerosmith? We tried. We tried. But they wouldn't but die. I, yeah, I don't know if you knew that or not, but <laughs> Steven Tyler is actually resistant to, to all <laughs> to forms all of modern forms. weapons. Right. Like so you actually, day. you're you're going to need something with a curse on it. <laughs> that's right. In order to take him down. <laughs> something sure that's shit. been blessed by a medicine man or something. That's right. Uh, big rounds and, uh, and drugs still haven't killed that motherfucker. You're going to need Valyria. And steel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that was a good time. Um, reminiscing off of uh, our last episode with uh, Derek and myself and Jake Rubel and uh, AJ Wilkerson, I had an absolutely excellent time after that. I'm actually wearing AJ's uh, t shirt and Jake's hat. I guess I should probably like turn this around so I can see that it actually is Jake's hat, but I wear my hats backwards in this uh, day and age. So cool. Um, but the coolest part about it was after the, uh, after the interview, we were outside. They were you know, smoking and we were talking for about 20 minutes after the interview and they actually looked at me and told me something that uplifted my spirits and uh, they couldn't be more wrong. But uh, Jake looks at me and said, you're funny. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he does have some mental issues. Uh, I don't know a lot about him. I didn't bother watching the no. show because I'm sure it was horrible. But no. uh, <laughs> yeah. I, uh, you can't really trust what that guy says. Uh, no, was they're... he able to hold completely still <laughs> yeah. while he said it? Because that's his tell. That's how you know he's lying. Yeah. Uh, no, it, it did. I had a really good conversation with both of them. Uh, uh, hats off to him. Thank you for coming on the show. Really do appreciate it. We had a blast. Um, you say I finished, that, but you're wearing his hat. I, no, I did. Take no. the fucking thing off. No, I love it's it. Fine, I love it. It's fine. Well, the hats I, are not I, off I, to him. I don't. I don't even wear trucker hats, but this one actually is kind of comfortable. I kind of like it. Um, I finished Obi Wan Kenobi. We were talking that about took this. You a while. I know. I did. Uh, it did take me a long time because uh, because I was so turned off by what Jeremy had to say about his review Those because he watched the whole thing. First episodes were awful, but the last one was fucking it, awesome. It's sort of. It, sort no, of. not sort, sort of. Sort of. No, it was fucking awesome. Sort of. Period. Uh, it was awesome. Period. Except for the fucking gaping plot holes that they leave. What they leave? Like once again, you had the fucking opportunity to save the universe from all <laughs> kinds from of all. suffering, <laughs> and couldn't do it because you felt sorry for this asshole, <laughs> Darth. I know. But they couldn't end it because they had to have, you know, Star Wars. Yeah, no two, shit. Three. But yeah, they couldn't. It just, it, it, every, everything's already been written. You can't fuck it up. Um, and then the uh, the other, like, uh, dark or the... They could have just not made the series. They could have not made yeah, it. Yeah, and, like, the other, like, dark chick. Uh, I don't, she was on the dark side, like, but she was... Was oh, a one Jedi of the Inquisitors? The yeah, the Inquisitors. Thank you, thank you. And, and like the Inquisitors are trained by Darth Vader in the ways of the Force, but okay. they are not uh, Jedi or Sith. Okay, fine. Um, but what the fuck ever happens to that chick? Uh, she lived. Yeah, uh, she went so, bye bye. Well, I've heard it's been greenlit for season two. Oh, there's a season two. Yeah, Is it really. Yeah, why? Apparently, why exactly? Right. <laughs> you, you found a way to. You know, <laughs> awkwardly money. tie this off with a fucking bow. Uh, let's let's open up more fucking gaping plot holes. Thanks, Kathleen <clears throat> Kennedy, you bitch. Here's here's Ugh. what got me about it. Okay, is the first two episodes are mm-hmm. just Leia running amok. Yeah, she's kind Him of being a little just shit, doing whatever the fuck. You are a Jedi Knight, and you are a general in the fucking Republic Army. At what point do you grab her and go, look, you little shit ass? <laughs> Quit being a cunt. I, every time she's like, I'm sorry, I got us into trouble. And every time, it's not your fault, Leia. It's a thousand percent her fault. <laughs> the whole goddamn reason that you're in the situation in the first place is because she's a disobedient little cunt <laughs> who wouldn't obey her fucking parents and kept going in the forest when she was told not to and she got her dumbass kidnapped. And now... You're sitting there fucking playing games. She keeps getting you into shit situations. Not only I that, mean, they were also she was also kidnapped by some very slow running individuals. By Flea. 
Flea. <laughs> That's who that guy was. That's it Flea was from Flea, Red yeah. Hot Chili yep. Peppers. <laughs> who who is not as fast as he used to be. But yeah, she was out running him till you know Branch. Um, but yeah, it's. I mean, uh, at what shit. point? And the fucking dialogue in those first couple of episodes is horrible. But at what point do you not just tie her up with a fucking gag in her mouth? <laughs> And say, you're not going anywhere. You're not talking to anybody. My job was supposed to be to watch your brother, who is infinitely more important than you. And now I can't do that because your fucking dad, you with, a fucking with all of his fucking security, couldn't keep you safe. That, and my incompetent ass is here now because yeah. now I'm a coward. Yeah, that pissed me off that they made him like that. Uh, the last thing, uh, the last thing that I did was I watched uh, the new special. It was a pay per view special for uh, Andrew Schultz. I know Jeremy doesn't know who this guy is. I know who he is. Oh, I'm surprised. I I don't find him to be that funny, but oh, I know who he is. I find him absolutely hilarious. Uh, it was the very first time it's ever been done. He turned a pay per view. Uh, uh, like watch you, you had to go to his website. He sent you to there and then you bought the pay-per-view and then it aired on Sunday night at eight o'clock central. And so it felt like it was, it was a real fucking pay-per-view. Like you're watching this like quote unquote live, but it's really not live. He recorded this months ago. Um, and it was an absolute success. Uh, I, I, my hat's off to the guy. Cause I think that now that he has shown that it can be very successful, he has legitimately cut out the streaming services like Netflix and YouTube and all of these places. Cause that's what the whole point is, is to make money. And well, he legitimately yeah. was able to make his own pay-per-view get paid for it. And he made, uh, I think you said three times what he ended up spending he's, on he's it. He's not the only person to do it, but yeah. Well, that's been done. Okay. A lot of people have sold their specials through their own website before. Okay. Just not. As a stream, stream yeah, that's one that's time. that's what I meant. They yeah, just, a lot of people will rather than go through HBO or, or Netflix or Comedy Central or whoever, they'll mm -hmm. put it on their own website for five dollars and right and cut out the middleman. Yeah, so I, I and I loved it. I thought it was great. The main reason why he did that though was because they wanted to cut out jokes. They wanted to take off some of the stuff that he was going to talk about. Well, they are very offensive, Scotty. I'm all for censoring speech. You know that about me, right? Uh, but anyways, yeah, that's some things you shouldn't say, <laughs> right? Uh huh. Like calling a fucking 10 year old girl a cunt <laughs> you know right, that, right, that that like yeah. I, what i did earlier yeah exactly uh how about you jeremy how was your week sorry i rambled on for i time. had two weeks really you did yeah, yeah how was your well. weeks uh well i had my uh my storyteller show yeah how'd that go we'll come back to that <laughs> okay uh the next day um a friend of mine uh, a gal who i grew up with okay she's from california uh-huh um i grew up like three houses down from her grandmother. She used to come, her and her sister used to come every summer and spend the summer with, with her grandparents. And her grandmother just died here the, in the last year. And uh, so now her dad is going to live in her grandma's old house. So I told her I would come out there and uh, help her. So I got to spend the whole day putting together ready to assemble furniture. Oh, oh. no. Oh, with Dutch boy. instructions. <laughs> I, I didn't even need them anymore by the time. <laughs> Uh, most of them were just pictures, which I'm used to that, actually. Yeah. Building aircraft, I build shit off blueprints all the fucking time. Um, but when you're working with people who don't do that, <laughs> boy, can that get fucking frustrating. Uh, yeah, I've always considered those instructions just another man's opinion. Right. And uh, I, I've never really... Not yeah. much into them. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, then me and my wife, um, we went to Red Lobster Whoa. this last Friday. Ah, I got the steak, steak and lobster tail. Did you get the uh, Cheddar Bay Biscuits, baby? Uh, I'm, I'm not eating carbs, but she got them, yeah. Oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, I got two fucking uh, side salads as my sides because I can eat salad. Mm -hmm. uh, other than that, it's just fucking steak and lobster, and there's <laughs> no fucking carbs in that. Uh -huh. Um Boy, do they make lobster look a lot better on the commercials. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, shit. I, I got this lobster tail, and I still, it, it really makes me question, why in the fuck is it so expensive? <laughs> it was fine. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, mostly I got it so I could have a thing of drawn butter to dip my steak exactly. in. Exactly. Right. Um, uh -huh. <clears throat> but, yeah, I, I could have just as easily done two steaks and been fine with that instead of, because it was a seven ounce sirloin, but it was perfect. Gotta say that. So uh, yeah, I got fucking fancy. Okay. And then later on that night, because it was kind of date night with me and the old lady, mm -hmm. and uh, went up to the uh, comedy club, saw Derek host. Nice. 
He did excellent. Good. Thank Came you. up. It was uh, the late show on Friday. I lo- I I enjoy as a fan going to the late show on Friday because that's the best chance to be a disaster. <laughs> and I love watching good comedians have to deal with yeah. that kind of shit. Um, it wound up going fine because it was Greg Warren was the headliner, and he's a, a pretty big draw. So, I mean, the room was probably – Three quarters of the way full. Okay. But Derek uh, comes up on Friday night and he goes, hey, everybody, Saturday night, huh? And then never corrects. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, but no, he he uh, brought out some new stuff that he's he's working on and uh, it's going to be good once he gets it good and polished. Yeah. Um, God damn it, the fucking, the, the feature guy. I can't think of his name. Sevic? I don't know. Mike, so I, we'll have to ask Derek next time. When yeah. he come, uh, he's got a weird, weird fucking last name, but he's going to be big. Yeah. He just had a dry bar special and he was elected funniest person in the Midwest or something like that. Holy wow. shit. He's a, he's, and he just does it part time. He's a school teacher most of the time. Wow. But yeah, he, he had a really, for him. And he, pretty goddamn clean. Wow. Except for the part where he talked about taking his kids to Hoover Dam. <laughs> and, you know, he was messing with them, telling them, you know, like in Vegas vacation, you know, yeah. here's, here's some damn bait. Take, take, some, take some damn pictures, and here's, the, you know, the damn lake and, and all this shit. And, and I just hear my son in the back, there's the fucking dam, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> that, that was pretty good. That's good. Um, <clears throat> other than that, uh, I... Uh, Here's what I've been doing. Uh, next month, uh, House of Dragons. Yeah, premieres, Game of Thrones. The Game of Thrones. Fuck yeah. And so HBO has been showing like one season uh-huh. of Game of Thrones mm-hmm. like on Saturday. And they started me on that. And that got me to binging it on HBO Max. Yep. And so this last week and a half, I've gone through all fucking eight seasons. Oh, wow. Oh, and holy shit. It is. Is such a good series minus one fucking episode. The last one. Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't know how I expected Fuck them. Yeah. Oh. It truly is and the last one. My wife was kind of watching with me. She didn't watch it from the beginning and but would always ask me questions in the middle. Mm-hmm. You know, and it I, I said several times, if you were that fucking interested, why weren't you watching from the beginning? Because I offered to watch it with let's her. Let's just start it over. One hundred percent. No, I mean when ladies. it came out. Oh well yeah, I mean, and, let's start and, it over. Um, but anyway, uh, I she's she announced that she is going to read the books. And Good fucking then, luck. And then she's gonna go back and watch the series, uh, which is nice to know that she will finally be reading the books I bought her for Christmas twelve <laughs> fucking years ago. Uh, so so that's I got I got good news on that front. Jesus Christ! Get, um, out, of so, a, get out like a, excuse me, get a, like a DNA connection like list. Thing when you're reading that that goddamn book, by the way, uh, Jeremy's wife. Yes, um, my wife generally, when she's in a reading mode, will go through two books a week. Uh huh. Sometimes three. Uh, oh, even Jesus. even her with her speed reading abilities is going. God, the print is small <laughs> on this because yeah. it's it's not only are each pages. one a thousand pages, but it's tiny fucking print on mm. onion paper. It's ridiculous. It's yeah. But anyway, so. Speaking of House of Dragons, though, uh, Shark Week started last night. Don't know if anybody else caught it. I sure did. Fuck Shark Week. It was fun. It's never done anything for me, Shark Week. Uh, well, that's because you guys are lame. No, I but just, anyways, I, they had a, a about premiere uh, trailer for House of Dragons. Oh, last night. So curious. You obviously didn't see it. I, I've, no, I've seen. So. I've seen mm. the trailers on on YouTube. Yeah, this what could they a, have gotten a, a fucking uglier or chick? What they could. Yeah. What? They could not have gotten an uglier chick oh, yeah? to, to play the lead. Oh, that sucks. But, no, I thought it was like the events leading up to Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. It goes back it's like hundreds of years. Back. They have dragons. Oh, yeah, oh it's dra- way back. Yeah. Um, which awesome. I don't like the dragons part. I don't either. That, that's too unfair. Well, I, they, I do. I, okay. I don't like the dragons, but I do definitely like the uh, the ice people, whatever they're called. Yeah, the, 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 the White Walkers. Walk, white, white Walkers, right. Yeah, I yeah. mean, but but honestly, having dragons, power. that would be like going back wow. to the Revolutionary War with F-16s. That's, yeah, that yeah, would be. It Sorry. Would be. Uh, anyways. Uh, yeah, that's that's what they say. <laughs> that's, a lot. that's what the, the Night King said. Yeah, yeah he did. White yeah, power. Did. White yeah. power. Raise them. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> right. How about the rest of your week there, Jeremy? Uh, let's see. Uh, 
of course, uh, we had uh, July the 20th. We had that, uh, which is the anniversary, 53rd anniversary of Apollo 11 landing on the moon. Mm -hmm. And, of course, I did what I always swear I'm not going to fucking do, which is engage with some fucking moon landing hoaxer <laughs> online. <laughs> a local guy, a fucking comedian who I kind of know, who's a, just a... I, I've always known he's had some weird ideas, uh, <laughs> for the most part, I've always kind of agreed with him on a lot of shit, but he's just so fucking wrong on this. <laughs> Is and it Dan? <laughs> no. Okay. No, I won't give his fucking name. I know, but, don't do it anyway. But, uh, yeah, it's, you know, they come at you with the same fucking shit. You know, why Why haven't we been back? How come there's no stars in the pictures? Why are the flags? Back? This shit has been addressed a thousand fucking times by a thousand different fucking people. If you know anything about photography, you know why there's no stars. Go take a picture outside right now. You'll see there's no stars in the fucking photo. If, you, if, if it was bright enough or you had the aperture open long enough to see the stars, the whole fucking picture would be whited out. There's no money to go back. Yeah. Well, we're getting ready to go back, yeah. hopefully. Um, anyways, uh, so, yeah, I got to do that. So, anyways, back to my storyteller show. Okay. Uh, I, I owe some people some apologies. Oh. Uh, um, <sighs> wow. It, I, I've issued some. I, I owe some more. Um, here's what happened. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me tell you. Okay, most stories that people tell, especially their funny stories, suck. <laughs> that that is a sad fact and it's not that nothing funny happened in the story people don't know how to tell stories and anytime they tell a funny story most people give the same response which is well i guess you just had to be there mm -hmm. that's why i like telling stories because i've always liked the challenge of using my words to take you there um the problem is is that the less relatable the topic and the more nuanced the subject, the more details that you have to do and the more background that you have to give and all of that to, in order to get people mm -hmm. to come along. I told a story, I'm, I'm not gonna say exactly what happened, uh, but it was something that happened in high school, back in my hometown, uh, with some circumstances that are very unique to my hometown. So nobody could relate to that shit. Not to mention it was uh, back in 1994. Mm -hmm. So I had to explain to people that times were different and this is a whole different fucking part of the world. And it was a, a prank, what was supposed to be a, a fun, harmless prank that uh, turned into a felony. Um, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. Yeah, it, and through a series of uh, comical errors, we did not get in trouble. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you guys a story later. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, but anyways, because it required so much detail and because, you know, I felt the need to make it more of a performative piece. Uh, and, okay, it was a story that I'd never workshopped before. Okay. I had never told this story really to anybody mm -hmm. before. Um, I'm basically writing how I want to say. I mean, the story is written because it actually happened. Right. But... I'm writing how I want to tell the story right. as I'm rehearsing it. You know, I'll say three or four lines, and then I'm always like, fuck, is that how I want to say it? Is that the inflection that I want to put on it? And so I'll go back and, and restart it over and over again. So I had no idea how long it actually would be. I knew it took a fucking long time yeah. in my basement practicing it alone because I was still working on trying to find the right words. But that's happened to me before whenever I've, been working on new stand-up material, but then I get to the open mic and I just plow right through it because I can't go, and it never winds up taking as long as, as it took me to, to practice. Uh, so I get up there and I, you know, they, they put way more people up there than what I was initially told. So I thought I had all kinds of time. Uh, it's a midnight show and they gotta be closed by two. I went up about 12, 15. Um, or I'm sorry, 1.15, uh, Jeremy had to come, Jeremy Rush had to come take me off stage oh. at about uh, 12.50. Oh, oh my wow. God. Uh, yeah. And here's the thing, I was wearing my watch, which is what I usually you know, keep track of time on, but I noticed before the show that it wasn't working. Battery oh, went great. dead on it. Uh huh. But then I forgot that. Because I was in the moment. Shit. Now, the thing is, though, the story was great. Yeah. People were very interested. People were laughing throughout the whole fucking thing. Um, 
but I took up all the fucking time yeah, from people. Go, buddy. And there was like only two more people got to go up after me. I guess it was it was actually closer to one. I was up there for between thirty five and forty minutes. Oh my god! Uh, you didn't went, you didn't get to tell the try it now story, did you? No. Oh, wow. No, I. It was all on this one fucking story. Oh Jesus! Wow. Yes. Wow. Because it was so detailed and so nuanced. Wow. And okay. You know, there was details of it that I probably could have left out. Sure. But those little details that I put in served as callbacks for jokes later mm -hmm. in the story. So, you know, when I tell you guys, I won't tell you the, the long drawn out version. <laughs> Thank um, God. But anyhow, uh, no, I mean, people, one guy fucking absolutely loved it. Like, held my hand back to my fucking table. <laughs> And was telling, I think he might have been on shrooms, but still, <laughs> uh, yeah, he right. just loved the fuck out of it. Um, so the the my actual, I guess at that point you can call it my set, uh, <laughs> went fine. Your forty minutes, yeah, set. my my headlining set. Uh, <laughs> but I I do apologize, you know, Megan and Bam, they got to go up, but they got cut short on time, pretty big, and uh, Esteban never got to go up. Um, <laughs> which I saw him at the club on Friday when I went to go see Greg Warren and I apologized to him then and he goes was I here? Oh Jesus. <laughs> Apparently he was pretty fucking drunk. <laughs> so so you saved uh, him. Yeah and, and uh, you know Jeremy Rush of course I'm, I'm sorry I fucked up your show uh, at the same time you're welcome for saving your fucking show. <laughs> uh, but no uh, I it's I, I did the kind of fucking unprofessional thing. I broke all the fucking rules of etiquette. You know, they were giving me the light yeah. cut at the back of the room and I'm like in the middle of this fucking story and I don't know how to get out of it. Yeah. So I just have <clears> to keep, I'm like, fuck, I'm just going to hurry and get through all this shit. But there's, like I say, there was so much fucking nuance in order to bring everybody along. Yeah. You know, that's it. It's, it's a hard story to tell. And like I say, I'd never workshopped it before, so I didn't know what to leave in, what to leave out. And uh, so, yeah, sorry for fucking up your show, Rush. <laughs> All right. We're gonna I, go I probably took way too long to explain that. You sure did. Uh, but we got uh, a lot of stuff to get to, so we're going to move on to uh, the rest of the, you know, the sports part of the episode. I try to put some sports in here for Clayton so that way he uh, can pay, uh, participate. I see, however, I see about two. Yeah. But, but however, before we get on to the sports, uh, we want to give a shout out to our sponsor, mm -hmm. Manscaped.com. They make excellent products to help keep your balls, asshole, and dick groomed. And that's very important, especially right around in the hot times of the year, which we are in the middle of now. Um, and you know, if you're, uh, you know, single and ready to mingle, I, I hear that it's, uh, you know, more preferable to have a clean groomed shaved area down there. Right, Jeremy? It sure is. I prefer it that way. Right. Exactly. Uh, I, all my men. Yeah. Uh, I, I really want them to, to have nice shaved balls. Uh, I, I don't know if I should bring this up during the ad or not, but I saw a commercial over the weekend. Apparently there's some new competition in town and I'm telling you folks right now, I'm not going to say their name. Uh, don't trust them. No, don't. We, uh, we can tell you for a fact, this will keep your balls safe yeah. and shorn. That's right. And uh, if you want to trust your company or your, your, your nuts to some other fucking company, go ahead. I hope your fucking balls fall off. <laughs> uh, but if you want to play it safe, you want the best in the fucking business, the first name in the business, the original, these guys are the 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 Hoover vacuum of the ball shaver world. They're the, they're the fucking, who was the first the, the uh, Kirby. car company? Yeah. They're the, they're the Kirby vacuum. That's right. Absolutely. Uh huh. Might pay a little more. I don't know. Maybe you pay less. I have no idea what this other company costs. I'm not even going to fucking look into them. Right. But all I can tell you is this company is superior in yeah. every fucking way. That's right. And they also have things like the if weed. If you don't believe me, I'll show you my balls. <laughs> That's right. Uh, they have other products like the Weed Whacker. Um, weed they whacker. help with your nose hair and ear hair. They also have things like cologne called Refined. Excellent products. Uh, go check them out at manscaped.com. Use the promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off of your order and free shipping. Uh, you know, keep them clean from nut to butt, kids. We uh, we appreciate them very, very much. A big thing, though. Lawnmower 4.0. Lawnmower 4.0. Like Right. Don't I bet this new company doesn't adjust their fucking light. Yeah, fuck them. Fuck them. That's right. Uh, all right, but let's get to the sports. Um, 
a lot of stuff happening, especially over the last two weeks. I know we didn't talk a lot of sports, so we may cherry oh, yeah, pick. We still from talk time. about things on the show. Yeah, I can't kinda, remember. It's been so long since I've been here. We kind of have to. Um, the first thing I want to start off with, especially when we're coming off of the comedy thing, I did want to bring up a, a good point. Um, I also saw Bill Burr's new comedy special out on Netflix. Go I check have not out. seen it yet. Oh, I buddy. I've seen clips. Oh, buddy. There's some clips that are coming out. Don't I hope you've seen spoil it. nothing for me, but I have to know. Is it funny? Oh, yeah, it's funny. Okay. It's really funny. In fact, he's uh, pissing off quite a few people of the uh, representing the WNBA. Uh, he made a good point, though. Uh, Let me ask you this. What would it take to fucking please those people? <laughs> <laughs> the, honestly. Attendance, probably. They're... they're I, I, I don't. Like I don't think that would would even do it. I don't know. On, okay, here's the thing that I I don't get. Uh, you are fortunate enough to get to do something you love for two hundred thousand a year, <laughs> in a in a company that loses money right. annually, mm-hmm. and you're pissed about you're it. Pissed mm-hmm. about it. It's makes fuck a, you. Makes a lot of good points. And I, now your biggest star is stuck in prison. That's right. Whoops. Uh, yeah. For doing something that's illegal there. Yes. Like, she didn't, like, not yeah. do it. She did it, and she, it's illegal. She did it, knowing it was illegal there. And it's it's one of those things where I'm not saying that she necessarily deserves to be in jail, but that's the fucking rules where you went. So that's their exactly. fucking rule in their fucking country. God. How... I, di- I didn't. I didn't want to bring this up, but I'm going to bring this up. So All somebody, right. some uh, WNBA coach, made the comment of if LeBron James was in the exact same situation because they're talking about exchanging like fucking terrorists with Brittany Griner. Mm-hmm. All right, and they're saying that if LeBron James did the exact same thing, you would be more inclined to make a deal to get him out of jail rather than Brittany Griner. Of course we would. Of course we would. Because nobody goes to the WNBA fucking yes. games. What don't you understand about that? She's she's not like a superhero athlete that everybody pays attention to. How nobody else are we to supposed to know how to feel on social issues exactly. if LeBron's not here? This is so exactly. ridiculous. Let's, tell us. let's use how, logic to figure God this out. Wild. Who else is going to star with Bugs Bunny in that next movie? Exactly. But anyways. Yeah, it's... It, it, Here's the thing is, LeBron wouldn't have put himself in this position in the first place. Correct. Correct. And I get tired of that argument of if she got paid more here, she wouldn't have to go over there and play for $1.3 million. Well, she's getting paid 200000 here, here, right. $1.3 million there. Uh, this is now her side hustle here. <laughs> right. That's her fucking job. That's right. If you Correct. get a job making six and a half times more <laughs> than what your regular job is, right. that's now your job. Yeah, guys, this is our side hustle right yes. here. We yeah. actually have real yes. fucking jobs. And to call it more. a side hustle, it's the worst side hustle of all time. We don't get paid shit. We don't get paid. Hey. Hey. All, right. all right, but anyways. Except for Manscapes. That's extra, yeah. Best ball shavers on the market. Boo. All right, uh, moving on. Next one. Vince McMahon of the WWE is retiring after allegations of sexual misconduct claims. He's paying around $70 million to pay, I think it is, four women Ooh. to shh. Anybody surprised? No. Fuck no. no. What the fuck do you think was going on back there? Do you think he was like uh, being loyal to what's her name? Linda. 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 Yeah, Linda. That's it. Um, yeah. Anybody I, shocked? No. 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 Do you actually think he's gonna bow out of the WWE? No. No. Wow. Of course he's not. He's gonna pull a Dan Snyder. You damn he's right. He's probably he gonna is. put Linda in charge. <laughs> yeah. And I uh, know uh, Triple H will be in charge. Huh? Is is that a real thing? Are they? Is, is he actually married to? Linda? Uh, no, not Stephanie. To Linda. To Stephanie. Oh, Stephanie? Yeah. Yes, they yeah. are legitimately okay. married, yeah. Um, I don't know if that was just something for the drama of wrestling or... No, as no, far as... It's a real thing. As far as I know, that is actually why he went from Hunter Hearst Helmsley to Triple H was the relationship with Stephanie McMahon. Okay. Yeah. So you don't think Shane's going to be in charge? I uh, do not. No. no. No, sure don't. Hmm. Uh, but anyways, yeah, uh, not shocked about that at all. All uh, we had the uh, we had the MLB All Star Game over the last weekend or the last week I guess you could say. Um, anybody watch it? Not one second. Not a nope. fucking second. Didn't get a fuck. Did anybody watch the home run derby? Nope. Nope. I didn't either. Didn't I can't believe it. I, it's I not forgot the same. that it was on. I did. Otherwise, too. I would have. I did I, too. I actually like the format that they do now. Uh, I do a little bit better. It's a lot shorter. I get it. Yes. Uh, Juan Soto ended up winning, uh, and he beat Albert Pujols. So, kudos. Um, however, uh, I'm sorry. What? 
Oh, I thought you were just I laughing. Thought you were I thought you were no, laughing. Sorry, had, yeah, what, what, the fuck, what the fuck is with your goddamn cough? Right, sorry. My bad. <laughs> you and your I fucking natural bodily reactions to shit. We also have the inductees, the class of 2022, into the Hall of Fame. Uh, the only one I really... I mean, uh, Buck Rogers, I think, was one. Roberts? Who was it? Uh, yeah, I, Buck Rogers. Rogers in the yeah. 24th century. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't remember his name. I just remember his nickname was Buck. I just remember that. But the big one was Big Poppy. Big Poppy got inducted to the Hall of Fame. Um, which He I th- was not a first ballot, was he? This was not his first? I'm pretty sure he was. Oh, yeah. was he? Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure he was. Because yeah. he did get <clears throat> some allegations, right? For steroids. Of, of That's what I was kind of... Performance enhancing yeah, anyway. Performance enhancing drugs. So this is going to be the very first person that I believe was confirmed to actually have PEDs uh, be a part of the questioning of his authentication of the sport. Um, but I believe it was stimulants, wasn't it? It I was not... Uh, Actual Drugs. anabolic steroids. I do not know. I don't know. Um, so, and it doesn't really matter. I, I think he would have been in the Hall of Fame uh, regardless. So would most of those guys, though. Um, I think if Barry Bonds would have not done steroids, yes. he would not only have been inducted into the Hall of Fame, he would still be considered to be probably the best baseball player of all time. Had, had he gone on to break the home run record. But I don't know yeah. that he would have broke the home run record without, without the steroids. steroids. I, I get I get you. He was just about done. Yeah. Uh, so, but now that hangs the uh, that hangs the question of all of these guys that are now dropping out of the uh, the ballots. Um, maybe not. I think this was the closest that Barry's ever been to getting into the Hall of Fame. But I think I want to say he's got maybe one or two more years left. I can't remember. I thought this was last year. It could be. It could be. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but it could be. And that uh, unfortunately is a shame. He's still in the Hall of Fame though, because his uh, baseball that he hit. Uh, that was caught by a fan for the single season home run record uh. has a imprinted asterisk over the Major League Baseball uh, logo on the baseball, and it has Barry Bonds' name on it. So okay. there you go. Uh, but also in baseball, how I th- wish that would have just been the natural indention that the bat made <laughs> yeah. was an asterisk <laughs> right over, right mm-hmm. smack dab in the middle of the Major to League hit logo. A certain spot on the fucking bat, right. That stamped an asterisk right into that ball. The also the Boston Red Sox have been outscored by fifty. 50- <laughs> Four runs over the last five games. By the wow. way, that is the worst run differential since 1901. On on Friday, when I saw Derek, <laughs> Derek sent me a text and made me aware that the Red Sox in the sixth inning were down 27 20, to three, three at shit. that point. Uh, I looked up the highest scoring run total in a Major League Baseball game. Uh, it was in the 20s. It was Cubs and Phillies. The Cubs were up uh, 23 to 9 uh, and wound up eking it out 26 23. <laughs> oh, oh my wow. God. Yeah. So, so they was, tried to blow it. <laughs> so that was the most, co- like, the collective, collective runs? Collective runs. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. I was going to say because they ended up, I can't remember. It was like 28 to 6, I think is what it was. So uh, like 28 to 5, I 20, believe. 28 to yeah. 5, something like that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that is a, that is a sign of uh, bad pitching, bad coaching, <laughs> lots of shit, really. Just bad. But uh, that's kind of a I don't know. That's kind of a. I mean, I'm sure at thing. some point they're putting position players into pitch. Weren't oh they? God, you kind of have to. Yeah, at that you point. can't waste Jesus bullpen arms. Christ. But then again, you can't let those fuckers go stale on the bench either. That's true. But but that can't just be a matter of one pitcher doing bad. That's yeah. that is everybody's. That. eating shit right now and and they're i gotta wonder why yeah okay uh now we get to move on to football it's coming right around the corner it's coming it's coming baby nfl woo, woo, woo. i'm so excited seven hours of commercial free football i can't wait for red zone uh but Devonte adams made the quote and i uh i want your opinion about this <laughs> I've heard this quote. Yep. He said, anytime you change quarterbacks from a hall of famer to a hall of famer it's going to be a little bit different is Derek Carr a Hall of Famer? Uh, <laughs> not yet. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Maybe one, now that he's got Devontae Adams. Maybe. Um, no, he, okay, I've got nothing against Derek Carr. Not Actually, a thing. I, I think he's a good competitor. I think he's a, a good enough quarterback. Mm-hmm. But there's, the Hall of Fame is not the Hall of pretty good. <laughs> the, this is, yeah, it is for elite superstars. Um to which some could argue, of course, his just his regular season fucking numbers are dictating that Aaron Rodgers is going to be a Hall of Famer. But 
you know, there's a lot of the way that the seasons have turned out and his performance in the postseason is Aaron Rodgers really Sucks. that great. <laughs> but he's certainly made Devonta Adams a hell of a lot of money sure. here. Um, but no, uh, this is uh, Devonta Adams hyping up his fucking teammate. Right. That's all this is. I, I agree. Um, I do. Here's my thing, though. I will say this. Derek Carr, he's going to be a lot better with Devontae Adams. Oh, yeah. He's going to be really any, good. Any team is going to be better with Devontae Adams than without I, I get it. But, like, I'm telling you, Raider fans, calm the fuck down. But you may be competitive this year. I do not think that the Raiders are the worst I, team in this division. I a case can be made for all four teams in this division. I think I have. I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I honestly think that the, this division this year will go: the Chargers, the Raiders, then the Chiefs, then the Broncos. Mm. Maybe. I mean, it's possible. I mean, very, it, it's inter, inter, it's inter, not inter, out of the realm of possibility. Interweave the Chiefs and the Raiders. It, it just. I just think that if they're going to do something, they, they've got new coach. That's the only thing I'm worried about. But Andy Reid likes to blow leads. And yes, he does. Gonna, he's going to do that quite often, I think, again and this year. San Diego is going to be good. Or, or Los, Los Diego, Angeles. Los I know, Angeles, I know yes. what you meant. They have a coach who likes to make some dumb fucking decisions. Yeah. What about you, Fred? What do you think? I think if we uh, took all the money from worthlessly watching football, we could <laughs> probably invest in a few more Red Lobsters. That's right. We could end homelessness. <laughs> yeah, we probably could. They, yeah, they work at Red Lobster. No, it's not going to Yeah, happen. Yeah, we could get enough Red Lobsters to give everybody a job. There you exactly. go. That's right. And then Worth everybody would have enough Red lobster lo to Lobsters. Eat. That's right. Uh -huh. uh, next one. Uh, this, was, uh, this was actually fairly recent. Kyler Murray signs a... Uh, two hundred and thirty point five million dollar contract, making him the second highest paid or paid player in the NFL. Uh, basically, breaks down to forty six point one million dollars per year. He was uh, drafted in two thousand and eighteen, though, for the Oakland Athletics in the Major League Baseball uh, deal. Um, for what it's worth, uh, in 2022, the Oakland A's payroll for the entire organization was $48.5 million. Think he made the right choice? I don't know. The A's made the postseason. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I guess the Cardinals did too, but they got yeah. beat out yeah. pretty, pretty early. Sure. Um, yes, he, he obviously did. And I think we said this from the very, very beginning it was one of our first shows, if not it our was. first show. It was. Our, it was one, one of our very, very first shows that we did, and this was one of the most controversial things that we could talk about at the time, and it was, should Kyler Murray go play baseball in the majors, or should he go play quarterback in the NFL? And all three of us were like, you stupid motherfucker, go play football. Uh, as a quarterback, you're going to be taken care of. You're going to get a huge contract. In Major League Baseball, you're not guaranteed to be a starter, let alone make you may hundreds not, of millions of dollars. You may not make the Major Leagues. You, that's very, very true. You're, you're guaranteed you're going to have to spend at least a couple seasons in, in the, the minors, minors and make shit money. Make nothing. So if you do the math, I mean, uh, it would you'd be a bonus baby. But yeah, other than that, he yeah. would have played. I would guess he'd probably have played at least two years, if not three years, in minor league baseball, getting paid uh, whatever. Um, but he would not. He he would basically have had his first season as a big leaguer last year. Is is by by time is what I'm saying. So that's pretty fucking amazing. Yeah. Last one. Uh, fantasy football kids is right around the corner. Right. Great. Right. So we got a, we got a lot of uh, listeners I know that play fantasy <clears throat> football. I know they're talking about wanting us to do a fantasy football league with a couple of listeners. Listen, I get it. It's too much fucking work for me because I would mm -hmm. be the one who would be in charge of it. Um, we have a hard enough time getting everybody together for one, one recording. Exactly. A week. Yeah. So don't put any more stress on me. However, um, we have our assigned draft picks for our fantasy football league. Um, this year I, I draft 12th. I know Jeremy's somewhere around the middle. I'm um, you, fifth or sixth. You, yeah. you, you draft 12th if, if you win. So that's, that's what I get. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, but if, if you had the number one pick this year for fantasy football, who would you take? Derek Carr. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, is there another choice? Yes. I, I, I mean, seriously, who would you pick? Oh, I know exactly who I would go to. And it's, it's Jonathan Taylor. 
he would be my number one pick. You think he's going to have another year like that? Yes, I really do. Because they're going to be keying in on him. He, they are going to be keying in, in on him. However, with um, I, I like Pittman as an option for uh, Matt Ryan now being the new start, our starting quarterback for Indianapolis, mm-hmm. and I think he's still got some gas in the tank. They okay. just needed he needed to have an offensive uh, line to be able to protect him to give him time. And I think with that, I think Taylor is going to have another awesome year. He's going to have a more dependable quarterback than what he had last year. I think Jonathan Taylor is my number one pick. Yeah, you're probably right. I mean, I, I still think if if there was any chance he could possibly stay healthy, Christian McCaffrey would still be the best point earner in the league. But but he has, for the last, what, three years, uh-huh. has not played anywhere near a season. complete season. And, in fact, uh, the last two have – Played just only minor partial seasons, yep. so yeah, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't take him. Yep, I, I wouldn't take him at all in the first round. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm too scared for it. How about you? Uh, how about you, Fred? You know, uh, we actually talked this weekend about starting a fantasy league between uh, our family, our family, basically. Yeah. You know, because uh, you play and my girlfriend plays, and she actually knows her shit. I'm yeah, she knows pretty, her shit. Pretty she impressed. Usually, she usually wins everything, so. Uh, and your wife and me don't know shit. That's true. So, uh, if I had to pick uh, my number one top pick, I would probably go with uh, um, Shane Falco. Oh yeah, footsteps he, Falco. Yeah, footsteps he, Falco. Exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I think he out of Ohio State. Out. Yeah. No, so, he got pretty beat up in that Sugar Bowl. He sure did. Yeah, he but sure did. He, he that was as a freshman though. They never said what did he do after that. I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe just scared away and didn't make it to the pros. I have no idea. He was a ship captain, wasn't he? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, he cleans boats. boat cleaner. He's, <laughs> he's a barnacle boat. scraper. He keeps he cleans <laughs> boats. I just, wanna, I just wanna have a kicker <clears throat> run onto the field and just go, ole, 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 ole. Can you imagine good. though the lung capacity on that dude? He can play football underwater, underwater. <laughs> for <laughs> long periods of time. I get Danny Bateman as a fucking fullback. Okay, that is our sports for this week's episode. Yes, we're running long. I do apologize, but I don't care. Uh, But now we're going to move on to the ick. Uh, I really like this uh, this segment. Again, I'm going to give a girl a 10 rating and uh, give her a fun fact, and we're going to see what it turns into from a 10. Uh, First one, she's a 10, but she is in a yodeling group. Fred? How big is this yodeling group? Pretty big, man. So they're famous. Yeah. So she's an eleven. <laughs> she's an eleven. Yeah, I, I, I can new boot goof around her <laughs> all day. I, I don't, I don't know. Like, yeah, it'd be kind of cool. I bet she's really good at uh, at stuff. But uh, could you imagine practicing in the house, like right before you go to bed? Just, no, I'll give her an eight. Kind, kind of good, but kind of bad. Jeremy. I'm I'm sticking with a ten. Uh, I don't know how I feel about yodeling, but I love that mountain climber game on Price Is Right. <laughs> that guy is fun. He is fun. And if she can just recreate that for me every night, I could go to sleep to that. <laughs> That's fucking great. All right. Oh shit. Next one. She's a ten, but she has verbal Tourette syndrome. This, uh, uh, 12, 12, this is totally a 12. Do you know who Sweet Anita is? No. She's, no. A, she's a gamer on Twitch. She has... Why would I know who that is? Then? I don't... Yeah, I don't she's, on, she's, on, she's on TikTok. And, and she has Tourette's and her tics are very funny. I know she probably doesn't necessarily mean for them to be as funny as they are. She's but capitalized <laughs> she's on it, obviously. She's capitalized yes. on it. And I just think taking her out in public and, and if she if she starts having her tics and stuff like that, the awkwardness of the room would be fucking hilarious. So I'm going to give her 12. Good for you, sweetie. Anita. Jeremy? I'm going to keep her at a 10 if her Tourette's comes out in the form of yodeling. <laughs> <laughs> just it, it random fucking yodels. <laughs> I would love that. <laughs> She's that red lobster ordering uh-huh. a lobster. Just you know, yeah. Yes. All right, Fred. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay with the ten, and in, uh, unless we're in the relationship together, <laughs> okay? Because you've seen me in public. Yeah, I pretty much have verbal Tourette. <laughs> this is no shit. So, two of us, we wouldn't be allowed anywhere. <laughs> no. 
We'd be fucked. So <laughs> you would be it, kicked out of multiple places. <laughs> like, one, sure, anybody can handle. Yeah. Two, no. Yeah, I've <laughs> heard fucking gigs up. I've heard you heckle batters. <laughs> you All the time, I'm the does. best. <laughs> you and Jeremy and Derek need to get together. Well, let's go. I'm ready to go to a game if it's ever not 106 degrees out. That ain't no shit. No, apparently Jeremy and Derek like to call somebody about losing his keys. Uh, all right, next one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what did I miss? That that was his fucking nickname. Yeah. Where's my car keys? <laughs> Where's my car keys? Yeah, whatever the fuck the guy's actual name was. Yeah. All right. She's a 10, but she always tries to one-up everything you talk about. Jeremy? Uh, one. That would mean I'm married <laughs> to my one. father-in-law. <laughs> oh, she? she? <laughs> yeah, she. I, I mean, just a, a female version of him. <laughs> and no thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Not, th- not only that can't fucking one-up me. <laughs> I, can, I can tell 40-minute fucking stories, okay? Try. Right. <laughs> We've seen it. Yeah. How about you, Fred? I mean, it's, it's got to be down to like a four because I don't have anything she could one-up, so it'd be pretty boring. Mm, oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I'm pretty boring too, but I mean, the really cool things that I've gotten to do... And if she like like I met Sean White once. I have a God, picture with every him. time we talk about going uh, that's, skiing. That's every like year. the coolest thing I I've ever Sean done. White. And then like she's like, oh yeah, that's sad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, and she's like, you know, I met I don't know somebody. Michael Jordan. Yeah, I met Michael Jordan. Like fuck you, I met the Michael Jordan of snowboarding. <laughs> I win. Uh, so I'm gonna yeah, I'll give her a two. I'll give her a two. That's that's too hard to be around. Uh, okay, uh, next one. <laughs> she's a ten. But she doesn't speak English. 97. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on the language. Okay, uh, uh, Scandinavian. Give me something from there. Bergish, Bergen, Bergen, Dorgan, Yergen. Yeah, we're going back down to about a six. <laughs> Swedish chef. <laughs> <laughs> She's Swedish. Her different birdie day. Bork, bork. I don't know. Depends on what. Language for me. Uh, but. Oh, man. Yeah, that's a good point. That is a good point. Latin, Portugal, Brazil, stuff like that. That'd, that'd bump it up. But yeah, like Spanish. I, Chinese. Oh, and, fuck. French. If she speaks French, I'm out. I am so... No, this, 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 is, I, this is not going to happen. Uh, this is three. Three for me. Jeremy? What if she has a British accent but still does not speak <laughs> English? <laughs> that's possible. What if it's like Cockney English? I don't know if I could put up with that. No. Um, Ooh. I don't remember who the comedian was when, that I heard one time talk about how somebody gave him the advice because he was really bad at talking to girls, and they told him, well, you should like get you know do a fake foreign accent. Mm-hmm. Chicks fall for that. And so I go up to him, hello. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing today? <laughs> 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 Fly lies. It is fried <laughs> rice, you plick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's good. Last one. She's a 10, but she occasionally does crystal meth. Does she have her teeth? <laughs> I know, right? If she doesn't have she's her teeth. She's a 10. She's a 10. She's a 10. Well, that's what I'm saying. If she does so not she, have her teeth, she stays a 10. <laughs> okay. That's a bonus. No oh, scraping. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a one for me. I couldn't handle it. Have you ever seen somebody on meth? Derek has. <laughs> it's true. He sure has. <laughs> Turned him into a warlock. The last thing is, is occasionally doing meth. You don't occasionally uh-uh. do meth. No. You do meth no. a lot. Yes. So this is total, total I think it breaking. starts off as an occasional use. And after that first occasional use, the first it just occasional, becomes, exactly. uh, <laughs> becomes use. continual. Nice. Right. Yes. Yeah. So you're zero. either messed out or you're fucking dragged. Yeah. Zero for me. However, from what I understand, messed up chicks are horny all the time. <laughs> so that would be nice. <laughs> Where's the balance? What, yeah. Yeah. Tip for she me. won't ever shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but she's horny all the time. Right now, I have the luxury of having someone who won't shut up. Uh, but she's never but she's horny. Never horny. Ever. Never so, horny. Wow. Ever. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, this takes it to so a one for me. So we're looking for uh, crystal meth, if anybody's <laughs> yeah, out there. Yeah, Let's right. see if we can help Jeremy out. Oh, Jesus, please don't. <laughs> they may actually try to send us some. <laughs> 
Oh, shit. All right. Can you nah. imagine her going on a fucking shopping spree with that <laughs> all messed up? How many fucking Christmas trees Christmas she'd come along oh with? Every, it's almost time to start pulling them out, isn't it? 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 It's getting close. Next I one? heard a fucking ad on Spotify today for their Christmas music channel. <laughs> See? It's never too early. Yes, it is, you <laughs> cocksucker. Anytime before December 1st. <laughs> oh, is that when she starts? She normally starts in, like, October. No, she starts putting up. Some of the decorations in mid-October. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say. Yep, yep, yep. All right, now we get to move on to real shit or horse shit, self-explanatory. Uh, it's like it's like our own way of uh, true or false. Uh, but anyways, uh, first one, real shit or horse shit. I refuse to wait for my wife in the house when she's getting ready. I wait in the car and honk the horn. Real shit. Guilty <laughs> do you as fuck. really do it? Guilty as fuck. There's a, there's a time limit. If, if we're supposed to leave at 7 o'clock and it's 7.05, I'm in the car. If right. it's 7.02, I'll, I'll, I'll hang out a minute or two. Sure. If there's active participation of you getting ready. <sighs> but no. If you're still in the bedroom trying on fucking shirts, I'm out. Wow. We have two cars. You can fucking, you can go. Good point. You can find your way. Good point. I, I am so lucky I do not have this problem. My wife is very prompt. She always has been very prompt, so I do not have this problem. But if she's 15 minutes late someplace, I'm probably sitting out in the truck honking the fucking horn. I probably am. So I'm going to go. This is real shit. Jeremy? Uh, absolutely not. This is horse shit for me. Uh this is just the longer we wait, the less chance there is of us actually going. <laughs> that, I don't know where we're going, but I don't want to be there. Uh, I would much rather stay home, and hopefully she will have forgotten what the fuck we were going to do <laughs> by the time she finally gets herself ready. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, very good. Last thing I want to do is rush going somewhere. <laughs> uh, next one. Real shit or horse shit. I will clean up my messes, but I will use the wrong kind of cleaners. I'm going to explain this because this is real shit for me. My wife has several spray bottles that have their, they don't have any branding or anything like that on them. They're clear bottles that she has her own concoction of shit and chemicals mixed into one bottle to clean either glass, the floor, the carpet, or whatever fucking bottle that she has died, decided to make. And I, almost every fucking time, will grab the incorrect cleaning bottle and clean it with that. So, real shit for me. Brit? Horse shit. I just grab a towel. <laughs> That's it? That's it. Just dry it off? Just dry it off. Oh, okay. I'd, I'd probably do that, too. Jeremy? Horse shit. I will not clean my messes. <laughs> um, <laughs> But, no, honestly, uh, Formula 409 will clean everything. Uh, that's the only fucking bottle that you need. Or Kaboom. Okay. You can use Kaboom. Kaboom. Um, Tell my wife. But uh, unless it's carpet. Fabulous. In which case, oh. you need... Uh, uh, resolve. Towel, resolve carpet cleaner. And a brick. You need my machine. <laughs> right. uh, resolve carpet cleaner and OxyClean. There you go. Um, but other than that, yeah, Formula 409 or Kaboom will clean everything from... You know, fucking countertops to toilets, all with the same rag. Glass? <laughs> yes, it'll yeah, clean glass. Rag. Wow. Okay. That's the shit I need. Then. But again, I'm not cleaning up my messes. Okay. Uh, next one. Let's see what one we're going to do. Okay. Uh, next one. Real shit or horse shit. When my spouse is doing something loud while I am watching TV, I will obnoxiously turn up the volume to drown her out and stare at her if I have visual contact. This is real shit. This is major real shit. Oh, yeah. Especially if she's watching something on her phone without headphones in. Uh -huh. And I'm trying to watch the game that's on. That motherfucker is getting maxed out. And I am staring at her the entire time I'm doing it. Real shit. Jeremy? Uh, if she's watching something on her phone... Um no, because at least she's not talking. <laughs> Normally, that's the loud thing she's doing is talking, <laughs> in which case I will turn up the TV, but I will not look at her. <laughs> I continue watching TV. That's what I want to be doing. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then, Fred, you said it was real shit. I said it was real shit. Uh, I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. I've got hyper fixation something. I don't know. When there's a repetitious noise... I tune into that and block out everything mm -hmm. else. Mm -hmm. And uh, my girlfriend is a loud eater. 
in Ooh. my ears, she's not a loud eater. Oh. She's not. But I can fucking hear it. Uh-huh. And it drives me up the wall, so I have to turn the TV up. I don't stare at her at that one because that's just fucking rude. But. <laughs> you should do it. You should try. No. Change no, behavior. No, not man. while she's eating because uh-huh. she, she knows I can hear it. But I'm like, I know you're not a fucking loud eater. Right. But mm-hmm. like little dogs barking, I'm going to go shoot them. <laughs> oh, I don't shoot the dogs. It's just... Uh, all right. Next one. Real shit or horse shit. When I pick my nose, I inspect my boogers. Do you still pick your nose? Yeah. It says blow. I say pick or blow. I'm sorry. When oh. I pick or... B- sorry. Real shit or horse shit. When I pick well, or... I bl- pick my nose. So. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> when I pick or blow my nose, I inspect my boogers. Every time. Yeah. This, Sometimes. If it's this, green, I'm Googling. Yeah. Like, that's a health thing. If your snot is clear, then you're hydrated. If it's yellow, you have an infection. It's yellow, let it mellow, I believe, right? Oh, that's what it is? Brown, flush it down. Oh, brown, brown flush, flush it down. It down. Oh, got it. Mm-hmm. Got you it. should not be blowing out brown. Yeah, um, I do. Yeah. Here's... here's I, I work around wood. That's, that's my minor brown. Yeah, I got it. Normally, I don't, but here's the exception. Every now and then... I'll pick up a Kleenex and blow into it, and it's just very obvious that something has fucking right broken loose. Right. <laughs> yes. I got to look. Oh, I yeah. got to see what the fuck what was in there. broke the sound barrier? I mean, all of a sudden I can breathe again. Yeah. And just, <clears throat> I mean, obviously I felt like I had to blow my nose. That's why I got a Kleenex, but I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I also, in my line of work, I work with a lot of uh, fiberglass graphite composites. Oh, God. And so when I get home and blow my nose at the end of the day, it, there's black dust shit that comes out. Mm. Oh, they man. say it's a nuisance dust. I'm guessing it's going to be too late before I find out the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Oh, wow. Probably. Probably. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Last one. Real shit or horse shit. I will spend way too much time trying to find something to put on the TV just for background noise. Real fucking shit. I will spend 30 to 40 minutes trying to find something to watch or to put on after my wife has already made dinner. So this is trying to put on something to watch while eating. So I will take 30 to 40 minutes to find something and my dinner is now cold. This is real shit. Fred? Same real shit. I don't do it for dinner. We know what we watch during dinner, but uh, I've got to sleep with noise, so we do it at bedtime. Mm-hmm. In three minutes, not even two minutes, I'm dead asleep. <clears throat> right. But I'll spend 30 trying to, what do I want to watch? Yeah. There, but I, I understand that, though. There's actually a scientific thing of why we do that. Yeah, you got to have comforting noises. <clears throat> well, the other thing is you can't watch something that you're trying to pay attention to, so it oh, has yeah. to be something that you've already seen because then you start to play the story over in your head and visualize, and that's how you fall asleep. But anyways, uh, Jeremy, go ahead. Um, I don't do that just generally for the fact that by the time I come to the table because my woman makes dinner, um, <laughs> I've already been watching something, so I just leave it on that but i should maybe be a little more particular because uh i believe it was saturday we were sitting down to dinner uh had an episode of game of thrones on and it was the episode where sam goes to the uh oh what the fuck the place to learn to be a maester okay and they basically using him as a servant the and citadel? it's oh yeah the citadel yeah and it's uh, just him emptying chamber pots yep. for like 10 minutes Yep. Uh, as I'm eating some sort of broth <laughs> or something. <laughs> yeah. And it, it gets pretty graphic. Yeah. It's, it's him grabbing chamber pots, emptying them into this big fucking sewer trough, and then pouring soup <coughs> and then <laughs> repeating this cycle if you over and over and over again. And it just wouldn't stop. If you don't know what a chamber pot is, it's basically a fucking toilet. It's yes, it's, it's a, a it's a bucket they shit in. There you go. It, it's a pan. A pan. Yeah, a pan pot. they shit in. Whatever. <clears throat> Anyways. And piss. And piss. Okay. Well, that is real shit or horse shit for this week's episode. Uh, again, guys, uh, if you have any suggestions for any of these segments, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram uh, or on our uh, TikTok, which is at Laughing on the Sidelines. But now we get to move on to Jeremy's favorite part of every single episode. Uh, this is where you guys 
can actually send us to uh, our Instagram account. You can send us messages or situations that you are in where you would like some advice. Jeremy uh, will then pick. Oh, sorry. What? Yeah, go ahead. Jeremy will then pick uh, some somebody's um, situation where he will give you the absolute worst advice you could ever possibly have. And uh, we like to uh, do that on a regular basis, and it's kind of funny. Before we do that, I want to give some uh, good advice. Okay. Uh, a guy, one of our listeners, Derek Hill, wrote mm-hmm. in. He's apparently been diagnosed with insomnia. Mm-hmm. Apparently, he takes uh, melatonin by the fucking handful, and he went to the doctor and got a prescription for Ambien, but he doesn't have health insurance, so he can't afford it. Um, uh, I have good advice for you. Uh, good RX. Go to that website. I looked it up. You can get it at Walmart with the GoodRx coupon for $14.95. Oh, wow. So it's it's uh, mm-hmm. generic. It's called Zolpidem, but uh, it's the same shit. That's what I take. And uh, just be fucking careful with it. But it should really help you out to be able to afford the medication you need. I feel sorry for you, bro. Yeah, quick question. So whenever you're trying to test a drug like that, do you take half first just to see how it affects you? Or what would, would you uh, do? Take whatever your, your doctor prescribed mm-hmm. for you. Okay. All right. That's good enough. Okay, but uh, this week's actual bad advice uh, selection comes from a gentleman named James Gorman, uh, and he writes, Dear Jeremy, I just got hired on a job site for a job site for a job. Well, that's good. Uh, Downtown in the city. All of the other guys are making fun of me because I am at least 20 years younger than all of them. And they don't think I have as much experience as they do. What's the best way to get them back and even the odds uh, and what should I do? Um, well, first off, you need to realize that they don't think they have more experience than you. They have more experience than you. They're 20 <laughs> years older than you. Uh, I tried to look up your profile, couldn't see how old you were, but you look pretty young. And if you are as young as you look in your your picture there, uh, you don't know shit. Uh, <laughs> that's just something that you need to, to get used to. So my best first advice would be stop being a little bitch. And uh, I guess you should have been fucking born sooner, huh? Maybe your parents should have fucked when they were younger. That's That would have yep. solved all these problems. But uh, instead, I really didn't give this at all any thought. So I'm just going to go, uh, uh, you could fuck their wives. <laughs> Um, you know, take video of it and show them. Uh, maybe slash some tires, sugar in a gas tank. Uh, let's see, what all else could you do? You could egg their homes, toilet paper their uh, their trees. Um, other than that, sit back and fucking learn from more <laughs> experienced people. Uh, you're not going to even the odds. They outnumber you, you dumbass. Um, I, I guess if you really wanted to, you could... Uh, if. I don't know if you're in some kind of a union or whatever. You could file a grievance with that. Be a little fucking crybaby. But um, other than that, fucking suck it up, pussy. (laughs) That's my advice. (laughs) No, believe it or not, I'm being as truthful and as honest with you as, as I can possibly be. If you actually have the attitude of you want to learn from them and get experience, they will appreciate yeah. the fuck out of that. I'm I, just saying. I do know this. Like when I first started working aircraft, and I was I started when I was 21 years old, mm-hmm. and people would be like, "So how old are you?" And I'd tell them I'm 21. Oh hell, you're just a pup. You don't know nothing. Again, sorry, my parents didn't fuck when they were nine. <laughs> okay, I, I there's absolutely nothing I can do about that. Uh, I'm not trying to impose my way on you. Here's what's weird: like in pop culture, like in movies, they they fuck with your brain. Like, okay, you get. Some movies where there's scenes where, like, the young kid who comes in and all the old-timers don't think he knows shit, mm-hmm. and so they just dismiss him, and turns out he knows more than what they were thinking of and or what they thought he would, and he really shows them. But then there's other times where the young hotshot comes in, and he doesn't want to listen to the old-timers because they don't know shit, and he winds up looking like a fucking dumbass. Right. So which is, is the right way here? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to go with being that I'm old. He's a fucking dumbass. Right. This guy. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but anyways, thank you very much. We appreciate that, James. Uh, hope hope that really actually does help. Um, don't do any of that. Uh, now we get to move. Except on. suck it up, pussy. <clears throat> Except for that part. 
Uh, but uh, now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Um, I, I love this uh, this segment. Again, guys, if you have any suge- – oh, no, 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 that's too far. Now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. I'm sorry. I, I, I uh, kind of jumped again a little bit there. Uh, but any of these next two segments, questions, preguntas, or overrated or underrated, and you guys have any suggestions, you can send them to us, again, at Laughing on the Sidelines on our TikTok or our Instagram. So first one, overrated or underrated – Dropping random things off of tall structures. Are you serious? Fuck yeah. Did you... Have you been clued in? Yeah. About my story? No. Oh. No, I haven't. <laughs> Did I just call it? Well, kind of. Is this the felony? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Do we, do we got time for this one? <laughs> At this point, I don't give a fuck. Oh, just I mean, just to the if you got to the punch of what you did and then stop. No, because it still could have some severe implications. Okay, for then never other mind. People involved. Okay, uh, then never so, mind. So uh, yeah, I'm not going to say that, but uh, I'm just going to say underrated as hell. <laughs> Oh. I don't know how to follow that, but underrated. <laughs> <laughs> I found I found these guys, uh, and they have their own YouTube channel. And I got stuck watching like two and a half hours of them dropping like random shit off of a dam, a dam, and it's called How Ridiculous. Uh-huh. And they were dropping things like bikes. They were dro- bikes. They were bikes. they were tra- they were dropping off the largest bouncy ball. Uh, GoPro, they were dropping all the shit. Did it make the, it back up? No, no, of course not. There were some things that were surpri- or surprisingly survived. Yeah. But, oh, I could watch that for fucking hours. So underrated as hell. Uh, check them out. I like them. They're a bunch of British guys, and they are pretty funny. Uh, okay. Next one. Overrated or underrated? The James Webb Space Telescope. I, I don't know. So I'm just going to default to jeremy how about you fred i think it's underrated okay it is so insanely cool what's out there it's pretty cool and scary yeah at the same fucking time it scares the fuck out of me so but, hey, my answer is what jeremy says yeah it, it's underrated as fuck uh i don't know that what's out there is scary because it is so fucking far out there it will never get to us ever we hope and, and in the it, universe is exp- the, going this way. the the universe is expanding <clears throat> faster than light so uh there are some shit that we will never see because the light from it cannot get to mm-hmm. us. But, uh, I mean, it's seeing shit that's over 13 billion light years away, which means that that light, which is just about the beginning of the universe, which means that that light is just now getting mm-hmm. to us. And that it, it's just such a fucking marvel of engineering. It really is. And it's going to tell us so much. Have you seen so. the, the recent photos of Jupiter? Yes. It took, which is strange that I'm actually surprised that they took a photo of Jupiter because it's really not made for stuff to see stuff in our solar solar system, system, not even stuff in our galaxy. It's made to see stuff much, much further away. And the, and the pictures of Jupiter are fucking awesome. Yeah. It doesn't quite look in those photos, like the photos we've known. Mm -hmm. However, it does not. Here's what's something weird about James Webb. It does not have a visible light spectrum camera on it. Everything that we're seeing is was taken either you know infrared or microwave or whatever, and then decoded oh. through a computer so that we can see how it would appear to our eyes. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, mm-hmm. I can. But I'm gonna go out on a limb and I'm gonna say this: on Jupiter, I don't think anything fucking lives there. Just saying, well, it doesn't have a surface. So <laughs> yeah, it's gas. No, it's, it's a gas ball, and, and it's, it's four hundred some degrees. And it's and fucking storms. Yeah. Anyways, uh, all right. Next one. Um, we're going to go with this one. We're going to go uh, overrated or underrated bluegrass music. I'm going to say underrated just because it is, in my opinion, maybe the hardest music to play okay. for musicians. It's a shame that they went into that genre that nobody fucking cares about. Sure. Because those are legitimately some of the best musicians in the world. Mm-hmm. They just picked a dumb fucking genre. <laughs> However, I can I can sit for short periods of time and listen to bluegrass. I can't do If it's done well. Yeah. I, I would say it's underrated as well. It's definitely not appreciated as much as it should mm. be. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go underrated. Britt? I don't know how you could call it overrated. There's, yeah, that's there, true. There's that, no nobody says anything about yeah. it. There's Nobody's no bragging yeah. up their fucking yeah. bluegrass. I'm in a bluegrass band. I'm a millionaire. 
I'm going to fucking sell out tickets for arenas. <laughs> We're playing bluegrass music. There is no. a, it's a not, local it's bluegrass not, band that made it pretty big. That's good. Split Lip Rayfield. Uh, yeah, never heard of them. Really? Oh, no. They they got a national recording contract. That, that's that's a, really that's cool. terrible bluegrass. That, right. It's neither this blue nor This is not, it's not country. It's just, it's I don't know, a hillbilly kind of bluegrass. You got to have a mandolin in there. You you mandolin. A lot yeah, of banjo. Banjo. You got to have a lot of plucking instruments. You got to yep. have a jew harp in there, too. A jug. Yeah, and a jug. Uh, all right, uh, next one. Let's see. Okay, uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Jane. I'm sorry, pfft, I read it again. Overrated or underrated? Watching runway models fall. Underrated as fuck. I think it's overrated. Oh fuck! Are you serious? I'd rather watch the dumb dad get hit in the nuts with a t-ball bat. Really? Than runway models fall. Oh, I would probably well, I would watch that. I love it when. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that, but so, but but at I'm, least that dad's not so fucking full of himself. <laughs> That's the yeah. thing. Runway <laughs> models are so confident. It's even better if it's a plus size model. Oh yes, what, like a fucking heel breaks and then she just uh-huh. fucking stumbles and falls. That's so fucking. Or oh. even if just nothing bad happens, she just she falls. just falls. The, the fucking like gravity the rolls that she has just all of a sudden the fucking gravity pulls to one side harder than the other she falls over oh i fucking love it when models fall i like the one chicks that, that wear heels and that one chick was like walking and she was just like getting she was Switched twisting her ankles, ankles. Yeah, yeah exactly uh spaghetti noodles but anyways all right last one overrated or underrated merry-go-rounds these are illegal in a lot of places. They now. are now. They are now. And you the fucking only, pussies. We're reason. not talking carousel. Nope. That's that's why it's not called okay. a merry-go-round. It's that's a carousel. Well, some people call the carousel a merry-go-round. They're full of shit. A yeah. merry-go-round is what used to be on playgrounds in the nineties. Okay. And they <laughs> they fucking kill people. <laughs> What do you what do you mean in the nineties? In the eighties, seventies, from the fucking nineteen hundreds. Oh, on. they've been around that long. Oh fuck yes! Did you make them? Did you invent them? Sure, that's okay. that's uh, actually what that we long. make. Okay, that makes sense. Fuck airplanes, merry-go-rounds. Uh, they were uh, they're underrated. They're so underrated, uh, especially until somebody got hurt, and then they were fucking awesome. So I'm gonna go underrated with that, Fred. I mean. As a youth, underrated, but now overrated. Oh, you're scared. But no, because I'm too old and fat to go push my kid <laughs> around that thing for three hours. Uh. And if I put my moped motor on it, <laughs> I'm going to prison. <laughs> <laughs> that kid just wants to have fun. And I've seen it. Uh. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? Have uh, you seen the video the that the guy did? I think his kid was on it, but he, like, Wrapped a rope around it several times and then hooked it up to the back of his car. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> took off. Took off. Yeah. Yeah, Somebody exactly. was on it. I don't remember who. We had one in, a lazy at day. my school that was, it was like a, a cage apparatus. It wasn't a flat disc with the handles you held on it. You oh. actually sat on it. But, of course, they never wanted anybody to do this. But you could get on the inside of it and push. And you made a much smaller circle that way so you could get that fucking thing home. Wow. <laughs> they were always wow. worried though if you fucking fell down it you would get all kinds of fucked up <laughs> by it so. oh god things from that time were just so much better. oh jesus if you live in a small town that's one of the things they that are guaranteed have to have in a small town there will be a school there whether the school still operates or not and it will have the scariest looking fucking playground mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. just rusty old shit out there with chains that haven't seen oil in fucking years and it, it's like something out of fucking Silent Hill or something. Yeah, Chernobyl. Every, yeah. Or Pri- oh, that's... Pri- Pripyat, yeah. Yeah, Pripyat with that fucking amusement park from mm-hmm. May Day. Yep. Yep. Good stuff. All mm-hmm. right. Now we get to move on to questions and preguntas again. If you have any suggestions, send them to us. We would appreciate it. Where are we at time-wise? Uh, long. All right. Well, okay. Uh, first one. The award for blank goes to blank. The most senile and demented president of all time goes to Vladimir Putin. You think he's senile? Uh, no. He's I think senile? he's losing his brain. He's losing his mind. He seems pretty sound to me. I nah, like him, man. He's scared. He's, he seems like he's, a good dude. He's scared. He's scared of shit. He's doing like uh, holograph things for something. Uh, I mean, the, the actual answer everybody knows, but I figured I'd do some misdirection. Uh, how about you, Fred? Yeah, you really fucking fooled him. <laughs> yeah, totally did. Got him. <laughs> how about you, Fred? I'm not going to lie. I don't got shit. I right. mean, the first one that comes to my mind is like the the award for best villain goes to Wyatt Earp. Nice. Okay. And Tombstone. Okay. Best villain. 
He went around fucking killing people, murdering sure? people well, yeah, but for wearing a red Marshall. sash. Red sash. Well, they were yeah. kind of dead. They, 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 they y'all sash at? The, uh, what happened to his fair and speedy trial? <laughs> That's pretty fair and speedy. Villain. That, yeah. <laughs> Villain. <laughs> it could have been, been a tr- fashion trend. Right. How about you, uh, Jeremy? I suppose so. <laughs> I'm going to go with the award for the longest story goes to me. <laughs> it's still going. Mm-hmm. Still yeah, going. I may be still on stage. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, next one. Reality, or sorry, blah, blah, blah. rejected names for reality TV shows. Santa's Lap. What? Santa's Lap. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I watch it. Yeah, you probably would. <laughs> You'd probably fucking be saying it. <laughs> oh, it would. I think. So you call me fat? That's <laughs> fucked up. No, you want little kids to sit on your lap. Uh, I started getting into this show. It's called Alone. You ever heard of it? Mm-hmm. Uh, they can stop calling it Alone and start calling it Cold, Hungry, and Fucked, or Cold, Hungry, and Mentally Unstable. That's mine. Jeremy? Okay. Uh, I'm going to kind of go. I'm going to the way, way back machine right here. All right. Uh Big City Whores. That's at, uh, <laughs> at Paris Hilton and uh, what was it? Uh, Nicole. N- Nicole uh, Richie. Richie. Yeah. yeah. What was it? The Simple Life or whatever? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Big There's City Big Whores. Big City Whores. <laughs> All right. Like it. God, I hated that fucking show. Uh, why was it even you a watched fucking it? show? Did you I, watch it? I watched a couple of episodes. Oh, wow. Just, I mean, it, it, it's one of those things that just even watching it pissed me off because the whole concept was them being idiot sluts. Yeah. Going to the Midwest and being idiot sluts around regular people. Oh, God. I just yep. thought of another one, too. Like Jersey Shore. Yeah. Douchebags and cunts. Self-explanatory. Yeah. God. The whole show, that's all they wear. Well, that's, that's all they do what is you make talking stupid about? people famous. Fuck you. Okay. Um, Jim Tan Laundry is kind of my fucking credo in life. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Awesome. They said that a lot on that show. Okay. Uh, next question. Things, it's not even a question, it's a statement. Uh, things nobody said in the 80s. Text me. <laughs> God damn it. Or, uh, I have a peanut allergy. <laughs> <laughs> Gluten. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. I went with, I sell feet pics. What? I sell feet pics. What the fuck? Oh, God. Okay. I Now I got what you're saying. Okay. I sell pictures. Of it's my, my truth. Mm-hmm. Got yeah. her that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, did you guys see that uh, school shooting last week? Yeah, that didn't happen much. Sure shit didn't. I'll be goddamn. Isn't that fucking amazing? They had uh, fucking shotguns in the back of their fucking pickup trucks. All uh, right. Next one. There's all kinds of things they didn't say. There's, There's a whole a bunch. Lot. Oh, yeah. You want to keep going? Oh, I, I could. Yes. Let's go. These shoulder pads are so awesome. <laughs> oh, they did, they, they did that. have that, yeah. <laughs> Put that ham sandwich down <laughs> and eat this Snickers bar. There's no fat in it. <laughs> no, no. Quit making me a sandwich. Get out there and get a job. They said that. Did they? These are things they don't say. So. Well, I, I pushed the right button, I guess, then. Yeah. <laughs> All right. No, that was, that was like a big thing in the 80s and 90s. Uh, it, it's actually been uncovered. Uh, the sugar industry paid a lot of money to scientists for them to say that it sugar doesn't make you fat fat eating fatty stuff makes you fat and so there was things like hershey's syrup would advertise themselves as a naturally fat-free food oh god i mean it's pure sugar and cocoa (laughs) but (laughs) it's a naturally fat-free food yeah eat a bottle of that a day see what happens there you go all right (laughs) all right uh next one things drunk people say hey Let's start a podcast. <laughs> yeah, that ain't no shit. Uh, my, fuck. Shots! 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 That's all oh I hear. God, I can, that's my fucking sister. That's, yeah, that ain't no shit. And she's not sober when that starts happening. So, Jeremy? You don't you know what it is? <laughs> I'll tell you what it is. Let me tell you this. I fucking love you. <laughs> I had that one written down. Yep. Fuck. No, no, no. Me, listen, 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 listen to me. L- listen, listen. <laughs> I fucking love you. <laughs> you know that. No, 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 no. <laughs> listen. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking listening. 
<laughs> oh, uh, that is the most 100% accurate statement I've ever heard mm. on this show. Uh, all right. And last but not least, I own a ridiculous amount of blank. Fred? Uh, I own a ridiculous amount of feet pictures. <laughs> oh, gross. Your owner. <laughs> D- depends. Are you looking to buy them? Or? <laughs> yeah. J- Jeremy hates feet. I do. I do Can too. I burn them? <laughs> uh, I own a ridiculous amount of custom jerseys. What, three? No. There's more. Jeremy? Hammers. <laughs> um, really? Yes. I was. I need one. Cleaning up my <laughs> fucking my garage. Floor. I. Okay, in my garage alone, of just standard claw hammers, uh-huh. I have eight. Yeah. I have another two in my basement workbench. <laughs> I own ten just standard claw hammers. That doesn't include sledgehammers, ball peen hammers, <laughs> brass hammers, fucking, sl- uh, did I say sledge? Yeah. Sledgehammers hammer again. D- hammer do's, hammer don'ts. Yes, I, jackhammer, <laughs> hammer drills. Uh, I own so many goddamn hammers. I've got rubber mallets. <laughs> I've got plastic mallets. I've got dead blows. I, I'm going to say in total in my home as we speak, I have no less than 30 hammers. Jesus Christ. I have more, as many hammers as my wife has, Chris. I was just getting ready to say. I'm that way with tape measures. Actually, oh, I man. don't have anywhere near as many hammers as she has <laughs> Christmas trees. Not by a long shot. <laughs> no. no, she just really loves Christmas. Uh-huh. All right, guys, but that is uh, that is all we got for questions and preguntas. Now uh, we get to get to a very popular part of, of every single episode. This is our Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. And uh, I'd be honest with you, I don't even remember the last draft because we've had uh, a couple of weeks, but I guess Dan won. So, uh, congratulations to him. Best um, Tom Hanks movies? Oh, that's right. Best Tom Hanks movies. That's good. Good for him. Uh, but now, again, uh, since we have a guest, uh, guest always gets, uh, gets the first pick. Uh, I'm assuming that I lost. I always do. So yeah. I'm going to get the sandwich picks, and uh, we're going to give Jeremy the championship picks this week. Uh, this week's draft is going to be our – okay, how, how do we want to put this? It's the most overrated movies of all time. So these are movies that a lot of people really fucking liked, but we didn't. So, yeah. uh, Fred, you, you get go. the very first pick. Uh, go for it. I think I'm going to come out of the gate hard and – uh, I'm sure I'll piss people off, but I don't care. Uh, Fast and Furious God Saga. damn it. That was one of my top Which one? picks. It doesn't it, fucking any, matter. Any of them from two to nine. I'll take... I mean, like... And except one, Tokyo one, Drift. Tokyo Come Drift, on. baby. Shit. Uh, that was, shit. Uh, no, I think, uh, I think you kind of get the whole... Uh, a whole series of If that, there was one movie, it'd yeah. be awesome. Yeah. yeah. In fact, there's enough of them. We could take... All of them. <laughs> yeah, we could pick. We could. <laughs> yeah, we pick, could just pick uh-huh. them all. All the Fast and Furious movies, uh, and that would make my job a hell of a lot easier. But uh, I, uh, I'm going to get the next pick, and I still to this day have absolutely no idea, but or no idea why. But all of the fucking girls love this goddamn movie, and that is Twilight. Fuck Ugh. off. Uh huh. Yeah. Shitty, shitty fucking movie. Terrible writing. Oh, god awful. But anyways, yeah, that's that's my first pick. Jeremy, uh, what Books do you got? Were bad, oh, I, I know I'm going to get backlash over this by people who have horrible taste. Uh, Scarface. Damn, I, I don't know, man. You've never seen it. I have seen it, and I didn't. I didn't think it was it the greatest sucks. thing ever. It sucks. It sucks. Yeah, it's horrible acting. You get two fucking white guys playing Cubans. Right. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know why you'd get Al Pacino for that, but um, John Mulaney does a bit where people say things like, you know, I like movies like The Godfather and Scarface. That's like saying, I like lobster and Skittles. <laughs> <laughs> the green ones. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, Fred? No, oh. my turn again. Oh, no, no. Two, oh, yeah, you got two. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, and, and, and back to back, and then it's me, and then it's you. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Avatar. 
Wow. I, I wow. want to punch you for that one. I do too. I thought it was great. Really? Punch you. Yes. They just one. called it the heavy handed metaphor. <laughs> That's the second one. Uh, <laughs> That's, it's coming out. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. I know, right? I'll go see it. I ain't going to like it. But I'll go see it. You will. You're gonna love it. I'm gonna fucking hate it. It's it can't only, be any worse. It's only taken like 30 years for them to make that goddamn one. So um, it took like 30 years to make the first one. Okay, fine. Uh, I everybody knows that listens to this show. I I really really fucking hate superhero movies. But I have only heard of one that I don't think very many people fucking like or liked and uh but still got a shitload of attention and that is Batman versus Superman. Okay. Mm-hmm. I mean you could have said fucking Daredevil. Uh, I don't know, man. I gotta, gotta, that that's was terrible. Spot in my heart Brand for Daredevil. Affleck, loser. Yeah. I didn't realize how bad it was until I saw the Netflix series. In Netflix series, I heard was good. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Third season's not the best, but still. Okay. And then Disney's going to fuck it all up. Okay. Of course. All right. Uh, Fred, you get two. Two of them? Yep, two of them. Which ones do I want? Don't you dare take mine. That's all I got to say. Well, I got two, so I'm going to try. First one, let's just go with uh, Titanic. Okay. We we know what the fuck happens. I know. I, I actually liked it. I did. I think it needed to be three and a half hours exactly. long. Exactly. No. Did I like the movie? Yeah. I didn't say I didn't like it. I'm just saying it was overrated. Got to see titties. Did get that see was the best part. That was a bit cartoon part. or charcoal and real. Mm-hmm. There you go. Uh, you got one and more. And then uh, my fucking dad's favorite, a Christmas story. Ooh. Really? Wow. <sighs> overrated. My dad? Yes. Our dad? I don't know if it's his favorite favorite, but during Christmas, that's all we watch for that's three true. days he does, straight. He, he does. He turns it on and just leaves it on fucking loop. Oh, all right. I have one that I know is going to get back to me, but this one may not. And uh, I'm going to piss off all you little girls out there that uh, really love this fucking movie. Uh, I'm just kidding. Nobody on, that listens to this show does. Uh, Frozen. Let it go, dude. Fuck it all. Fuck it all. That was on my list. You can suck my balls. Have you seen Shit. what happens? There's a YouTube video of that song where you put on the Google Translator, translate it into Chinese, and then back to English. <laughs> Boy, does it not <laughs> it does <laughs> not go. <laughs> Give up. Give up. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, it's just all about surrendering and... <laughs> Might as well be French. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, yeah, but uh, that movie sucks. God. That was a bad one. It was terrible, and it got sad. People still talk about it. You know, it's made for children. I don't give a fuck. We have to sit there and watch it with them. Uh, Jeremy, you get two. All right. Well, in that same vein, then, I am going to go with a Disney Pixar Cars. Oh, really? What? The fucking movie sucks. What? <laughs> and they made three se- or two sequels. Are you kidding me? Yeah. yeah. Now the third uh, one sucks, but here's, the first one? Here's Mater driving backwards? Yeah, here's man. what I despise about it. They don't say what happened. This is a world where cars live amongst businesses made for humans. Uh-huh. Yet there are no humans <clears throat> to be found. All the gas pumps have regular handles. The no, people, they don't. Yes, they do. They pump it with their foot. It shows it. But they have handles. Or the reel. And there's restaurants with tables. Something happened there. <laughs> Something bad. And they don't say what. I'm not going to lie. I've never thought of that before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some apocalypse happened mm-hmm. for all of us. And all of our cars got clean and better. And they run the world. Uh, but all right. But you got one more. Venom. Oh, okay. The movie sucked. Okay. So Second fucking one campy. Uh, Second right. one's Second even one worse, worse. But I don't think it really... I don't know anybody who liked that one. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. I've got, I got a runner up, but... I, I, oh, I think I just might fucking use it because it was terrible. It's you, though, huh? Yeah, it is me. Um, I... Whew, I'm, I'm looking at I'm looking at some, some lists and... Um, <clears throat> I don't I don't want to do too much too much craziness but I think yeah yeah 
I am. I'm going to go with uh, Blair Witch Project. I know that's not <clears throat> peop, like younger people. I remember when this came out. Whenever I was younger, and they made a big fucking deal they about it. They tried to convince it. everybody it was real. it was real. Yeah, that was their whole marketing. Point. Yeah, and, and so it may not hit home for younger listeners, but people that are my age, this was the most overblown lump of horse shit that everybody needed to go see, and it was garbage. So I'm going to go with that. Yeah, it's uh, just a bunch of kids wandering around a forest going, what is that? Yeah. yeah. What was that? Yeah. Yep. Shaky fucking camcorder footage. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot of fun. Yep. All right, Fred, two. Two again? Yeah. My last two? Yep. Um, I, I don't know, but I think the first one I'm going to take the Matrix. Okay. Ooh, Damn. Like the reloaded? Is that, I'm, well, all three no. again, whatever. Oh. All four now, however many there are. There are four, and that fourth one oh. was. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that was shit. I mean, there ain't enough polish for that turn. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. Just that whole series again. Uh, you know, the first one was the, cool, but they just killed it. It was so groundbreaking and revolutionary for its time. Yes. Yeah, like the CGI and stuff yeah. like that was amazing. Uh, all right. Uh, one more. The last one, is, I think it's going to... Yeah, I'm going to do it. The newest uh, Jurassic World. Oh, yeah. Is that overrated, though? Because nobody liked it. Well, I... That's... No, I, 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 I think you can get away if I, you do Jurassic uh, World, whatever it is. I think that's fine. Now, the last one that people See, I'd, liked, I hated. That's the way I am. That's what I'm saying. It's... They, they the were most all recent gung, one. Yeah, the most recent one. They were all gung-ho, like, yes, it's coming to an end and all this, and it was fucking terrible. But people still, yeah, I'm sure there's still a following. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. I, um... You want to see my backups? I, Man. Uh, no. I, I did. I, 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 I'm kind of along the same line. I just... I know if I pick what I really think, I'm going to fucking lose. And I'm probably going to fucking lose. You're going to lose with Blair Witch. No, I'm not. Um, I just... Uh, fuck. Comment if he's going to lose with Blair Witch. No, I'm not going to lose with Blair Witch. <laughs> I think if enough people have actually seen it that I think it's like, yeah, that was a fucking shit show. Um, I guess... Uh, fuck... I tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with uh, again against all the chick flicks out there. I'm gonna go with the Notebook. I uh, <laughs> I can't I I don't want to ever watch it again. But my wife made me watch it, and uh, I. Th- what do you want? Isn't that a Gosling? Yeah, Gosling. yeah, Ryan Gosling. I like him and everything. I do like him, but I be. I hated that fucking movie. It was just like except just, in Blade Runner, wasn't that the newest? No. I don't I don't know I don't know. I'm gonna go with Notebook. I might be wrong. Jeremy, go ahead. <clears throat> I am so torn on this one, but I'm just going to do it solo. Ooh, really? Solo sucks shit. I thought it was all right. I was actually going in with very, very low expectations, and I actually was so pleasant, did I, pleasantly and was, surprised. I was very disappointed still. Okay. Uh, you got any honorable mentions? Yeah. I do. Uh, sure. I got a I, couple I left here. 2001, A Space Odyssey. Yeah. Yeah. Bum. That's what did it. Just that song. Just that song. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Here's a fun fact <coughs> about right. the people who think Stanley Kubrick faked the moon landings, uh, or that he's the one who did the the film work that they faked him on. Mm-hmm. Um, Go watch that movie. <laughs> well, no. Here's here's why his name gets brought into shit. Well, one, he made a mockumentary, or they made a mockumentary with him saying, "Yeah, yeah, I helped them fake that." <laughs> um, but the other is. Uh, on, when they were rehearsing for Gemini 9, the, he it was about the same time that he came out with that movie, and they looked at it, and they, all the scenes of them being weightless in space were so realistic that they actually con- NASA contracted with him to use his rigs and harness setups as uh, training for Eugene Cernan to do a spacewalk. We had already done one spacewalk on uh, Gemini 4, but it was just him floating around in space. Now they actually needed to work in space, so they had to go around to the back of the spacecraft and assemble a jetpack and fly it back around to the front. And um, so they used these rigs and harnesses to uh, set everything up. 
And uh, what happened was uh, Eugene Cernan almost fucking died uh, because it's nothing. Like it, it didn't simulate space at all. He went back there, and every time he tried to turn something, his whole fucking body got turned and tangled up in the oh, wow. In, oh, wow. in the umbilical. He lost, and then they come around to the light side. And his whole fucking visor just fogged over because he was sweating mm -hmm. inside there. He lost uh, 14 pounds of body weight in water when he when they got back. They dumped out his fucking boots. It, each boot had seven pounds of sweat. Oh Jesus Christ! Yeah. So Stanley Kubrick uh, really couldn't fake things all that well. <laughs> um, the one that I I did not pick that I I knew I would have pissed off everybody. Uh, but I, I legitimately think this is an overrated now, uh, like franchise, I guess. But Anchorman, I fucking hate it. I think really? it, I think the it's first shit. One? The first one, the second one. Huh. I think it's shit. I mean, yeah, yes, they they there are definitely funny parts and funny quotes. Do not get me wrong. But the the movie itself, plot line, everything fucking sucks. Shit. Can, can we just be as bold as to uh, just say Will Ferrell? Uh, I, I don't want to do Will Ferrell. See, I could. He's got some I, shit. I, I some will say stuff. this. The the Ballad of Ricky Bobby, uh -huh. I initially, I went to the theater, watched it, and I walked out of the theater so upset. I hated it. And then I watched it again because somebody had it on, and I really enjoyed it. So I can't say Will Ferrell, no, uh, but Anchorman is shit. So that's me. Blades of Glory. I don't know why in the fuck people like that. I like oh. Semi Pro better than some people did. Oh. Semi Pro was even dumb. I, th I think Semi Pro oh, was yeah, dumb. It's dumb. Blades of Glory of course. was shit. The oh, Flint Tropics. So bad. Yeah, the Flint, Flint Tropics. Rambo. Yeah. Uh, I, I, yeah, Rambo. I've never dumb. seen it, but. Uh, here's, here's, the, here's my problem with, with Rambo. Okay. You had the first one was called First Blood. Right. And then you had Rambo subheading First Blood Part 2. And then the next movie was called Rambo 3. <laughs> no, it's not. It's just shit together. That's First Blood 3. It's Rambo 2. Uh, and, and it's awful. <laughs> yeah. But no, the First Blood is a phenomenal movie. Yeah. Uh, the second one, Rambo, he's shooting down helicopters with exploding tip arrows. And uh, yeah, that's just not going to fucking happen no, in real life. No, it's not. All right. Uh, well, guys, that is our draft for this week. Again, you can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and vote by uh, clicking on the corresponding emoji of which list you think has the most overrated movies out of all three of our lists. And then also you can comment on uh, some things that uh, you would have selected as being overrated. Uh, but now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation uh, brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. Uh, during the, uh, the famous space race between the Soviets and the United States, the Soviets were very desperate to stay ahead of the U.S. who would soon be deploying their new, at the time, Gemini spacecraft. And so they rushed out their new Soyuz spacecraft, which, by the way, they still use. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> It was uh, fraught with engineering issues, and uh, cosmonaut Vladimir Komarov, who was assigned to this particular mission, knew all about him, and he refused to go. Uh, so they told him, fine, if you're not going to go, we're going to send up Yuri Gagarin, who was not only a national treasure, being the first man ever in space, at least to ever come back alive, and uh, he was also uh, Komarov's best friend. And so he begrudgingly agreed to, to go. So on April 23rd, 1967, uh, he launched, and after 18 orbits of very frustrating shit. Wow, Sir, uh, my fucking hmm? uh, Siri just kicked on. Oh, cool. I don't cool. know why. Um, <laughs> but after 18 very frustrating orbits that were uh, just riddled with all kinds of different problems, they ordered him to abort the mission and re-enter the atmosphere, to which he hit the retro burners and, uh, of course, lost all fucking control <laughs> of the spacecraft, tumbling into the atmosphere, uh, which is around 17,000 miles an hour <laughs> when that happens. Um, of course, the air slows you down quite a bit once you hit the atmosphere. 
Uh, but he uh, was completely out of control. Uh, there is a video, or I'm sorry, audio of him, of his uh, communications with the Russian space agency. Uh, he basically motherfucked those guys the entire way down, <laughs> taking a break just to uh, tell his wife goodbye. Uh, that being said, he was an outstanding test pilot and actually managed to regain control of it, uh, which was all but impossible. Of course, he deployed his drogue chute, which failed, and then deployed the backup chute, which got tangled up with the drogue chute, still <laughs> making him crash into the fucking ground at a whopping 90 miles per hour. <laughs> oh, my uh, God. You can go on YouTube and see the aftermath footage of his charred skeleton oh uh, and God. the burned up spacecraft around him. And now your child can recreate the magic of that moment <laughs> using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos! Straighten up and fly right. <laughs> My God. Wow. Yeah, only one death in this one, but it was pretty horrific. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, oh, man, recreate that shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, just scatter some shit around. That's right. all you got to do. Well, this week's shitty situation is you are an Uber driver. Would you rather have to take home a very drunk person that will not stop telling you to listen and that he loves you, or take home a woman who is tripping balls on methamphetamine. Crystal methamphetamine? Crystal methamphetamine. All right, fair enough. Yeah, you know. There's lots of different amphetamines. There, there, there are. Uh, maybe this stuff's the blue stuff. You never know. It's not. It's not? Okay. Mm, that's not good. Okay. No, that blue stuff, you can actually, uh, good RX. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can use that, right? that shit. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm taking the meth head home, guys. Really? Yes, uh, because I, I think, uh, you know, being an Uber driver, um, you probably always get some pretty, you know, uh, entertainment out of, uh, you know, the people that drive you around. I've had great experiences with Uber drivers. Um, but I think in this particular situation, I think the meth head, while annoying on the trip home, I will drop her off and then I will I will continue to watch her trip balls as she does like dances to whatever destination she then has. I'll stick around and watch her walk wherever she's going to walk. So I'm taking the meth head. Fred? So I can't decide. You're, you're either going to have the drunk guy thrown up in your car yep. or the meth head trying to get the fairies out from <laughs> under the seat, ripping through your fabric. <laughs> so... Wow. One star. I, I think I'd probably take the drunk guy home. Oh, it's no. Just, I couldn't do I it. I could listen to those stories because I know what's coming. Listen. <laughs> See, I know what's coming. <laughs> listen. <laughs> Tell you what it is. <laughs> you, don't, you don't know. You, you don't know me. <laughs> The fucked up thing is we all know this uh, this story because I think all three of us have all been, 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 been that guy. We've all been that guy. We've all been this Uber driver. That's yeah. right. <laughs> yep, that's right. How about you, Jeremy? I'm going with the drunk guy. Really? And for, for one simple reason, that guy is at least in a loving mood. That meth head chick can turn violent at any time. Uh, even if the drunk guy gets violent, you're probably, if you have to pull over and kick his ass, mm -hmm. probably not going to get in any trouble for that. You're going to have a hard time explaining why you beat the fuck out of some 90-pound woman. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no matter, because they're probably stronger than they look. Oh, yeah. That, that they, meth gives them super strength, like a fucking orangutan. That's right. Meth super strength. We've talked about that on the show. And um, so, yeah, I think that's going to be just for the potential for things to go sideways on you. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm going to take the drunk people. Okay. That's fair enough. All all very good answers. I, I'm still taking that at all. My God, that'll be entertaining <laughs> as fuck. Uh, but thank you guys very much for another uh, excellent episode. Thank you guys for listening. Um, we uh, we don't have any shows coming up, other than the one on the October. Only? Yeah, the only in October twenty second. The double are, deuce. That, that's right. The double deuce. Uh, again, there are tickets still available. There's not as not many. Not many. <laughs> There's really not. I'm actually kind of shocked. Um, so in all, all things considered, if you would like to see us live, it is an 18 or older, uh, event. Um, so make sure that you pass that test. 
Um, but there are a very few tickets still left. If you would like to see us live, it will be October 22nd at Vorshay's Lounge. Uh, the link for that show is still on uh, on the very top of our Facebook. Uh, it is in the link in our bio. So do us a favor TikTok, and check the and right? TikTok. Yep, and TikTok. Um, so do us a favor and check that out if you would like to see us. We're going to have a really good time. And um, don't be afraid when you look at the ticket map. That map makes it look like a much bigger place. I think than it really is. Yeah. So there's it's it's like not there's it's not there, small. there's not good, there there's no bad seats. Uh-uh. I guess it it makes it look like you'd be way the fuck back. You won't. No. You won't be. No. It's it'll be a fun time. Uh. So do check that out. Uh, Fred will be there. I'll yep. be there. Yep. Yeah. 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 Check it out. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you guys so very much for doing everything that you're doing. As we continue to grow, uh, it's because of you guys. You guys doing what you're doing, which is uh, telling people about the show, sharing our TikToks, commenting on our TikToks, uh, and liking, obviously. But we sincerely do appreciate all that you do. And as always, we like to say, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. And if you don't like us... I hope all your vacations take place in Florida in <laughs> July. <laughs> if you don't like us... Tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. Remember, in space, no one can hear you screen (laughs) (laughs) until next time keep laughing asshole we will see y'all later take care